hey, hey guys, hey, I want to know that we're here, we're alive. I haven't forgot about you. We're we're still alive. Um, basically, we're having issues with with uh, with Master Glib here. Basically, what's happening is uh, whenever he pops onto uh, roll twenty, he happens to just kind of make everything repeat itself, which is super cool and great. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna have a little talk sesh. Wait, wait for him. And hopefully, it'll work itself out. You guys get to see behind the scenes. Gonna work out some feelings. We work out some uh, feelings. Oh my how we, god, dude. How we feel about the feelings. Yeah, so, what did you guys think of last session? It's been my first time actually DMing in a long time. I want to know your thoughts. It's good. Yeah? I liked it. There was a couple, like, technical issues. I mean, obviously, like we're this? still experiencing Like this? <laughs> like the ones we're having right now? Oh my god, um, it's so awful. And we almost like, went back to Skype. It was kind of reminiscent of the first session we had um like with the like original weighted dice crew and it was just like you kind of like you have to work out that like awkwardness i guess yeah it's just like it, like some people are new some people have been here for a bit and it's just like you start to get the flow of things and it's yeah it'll we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there eventually we'll get there eventually yeah but no i thought it was good i thought yeah. you did a really good job and uh you know you didn't suck Oh, glad. I'm glad. It's really great. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. What did you think of it? Personally, I thought it went really. I thought it went really well. Um, there are a couple things that I felt weird about. Thanks for the host, Bad Wolf. Um, I felt weird about like some of the combat. Like I felt, I felt like my combat was more directed towards like lower level party. Yeah. So I've amped it up this session, like tenfold. Oh no! Lower level combat was fine with us. Yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> we had nah, a dog. It was. Nah, <laughs> dog. It's gonna get real hard. Uh oh. Uh, so like for example, that 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 one guy at the end of last session, he had like two hundred health. What? And you guys? He yeah, two hundred. Yep. You guys obliterated him. He didn't yeah. get a chance to to hit anything. Yep. Messed did, him up. He did two d eight plus six damage. He would have <laughs> fucked you guys up. But no, you guys had to have trip attack and fucking fear and fucking rogue. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> just, he just wasn't doing that. You guys fast. messed him up royal. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. Okay, so Glib can hear us. Uh, can you can you talk at all, Andre? Not yet. Okay, not yet. What are you doing? Um, so but yeah, man, it was it was rough. Uh, so the combats for tonight are going to be a little more difficult, so that'll be really fun. Uh, but there will definitely be some chances for, for some good roleplay too, I think. Um, hey, I can see everybody now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, oh, not right. Andre, but, yeah. you know. Uh, his, 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 his cyborg face. Sexy cyborg face. <laughs> so, uh, cyborg Nox, how did you feel about having uh, two new party members? Yes, sorry, did you ask me that? I don't think you uh, not me. talk what? back or <laughs> did you ask me that? I didn't realize you were out talking to her. Me? Holy I shit, thought you were talking to me. I said, yeah. Hey Knox. The thing I call you by. Uh, how did you feel about last session having two new party members and sort of this is now you're still becoming a more seasoned player like Ted is. Yeah. You played over fucking 20 That does episodes. not make someone seasoned. That's over 40. You've done a full two work week. I'm a seasoned. Full work week. You're salty. Mm. That's what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Got him. Uh, Got him. Shut up, Ted. But what did you think of it? What did you think I of don't, it? Well, I like the new players. I still don't like Ted. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know what? I get that. All right, I get it. That's fair. We all like each other, and it's fine. It fuels my ambition. Uh, boy, ah, boy. I want to ask Andre what he thought of it, but I know, but he's kind of dead right now. Um, Ross, what do you think? Okay, try again. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. We're gonna try and come in again. We might might be stuck in the cave for a little bit. I miss Andre's face. Come back, Andre. Is it working? Is it? Why it's working. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hey. Can you hey. hear us? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, All right. I hear nature. 
You hear nature. Yeah, I, that is I the, also that hear is that. The soundtrack that I, I'm playing right now. Uh, okay, that's not my headphones being broken. Uh, okay. No, I don't no, like we're, nature. We're, we're, we're talking. We're talking right now. Oh, I, I live on a farm. I keep chickens in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you guys could, I do a little thing with some of my players when I have a recurring uh, campaign. Is I nice. reward them for remembering what happened last time. Oh, son of a. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so nope. between the four of you, without looking at notes, oh. who, oh, wants, to, who wants to regale me and the chat with what happened last week? I'm going to vote we, for Roman. Do, do we have it? to regale or can we just recount? You can, you can recount. <laughs> okay. you, regale, you, you can recount. Uh, why don't we all help? You woke it up. Okay, okay, so first, okay. first Ted. Uh, no, no, I don't want to go. You will go. Uh, I okay. will not. If we're doing this, you will all get rewarded instead of one person being rewarded. So if you can all do it right, okay. you'll all get a reward. Not, I am not a participant. You are. I'll take the hit for the whole team if the whole team will get rewarded. Nope, only you. It's going to be the whole team. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. It's all or one, baby. Well, we, started, we started in a... You know, a pub, a okay. tavern. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you know, we were uh, Knox and I were having some drinks, hanging out. Uh, Roman was there, being a bard, talking with the barkeep, and he was like, he's kind of like talking to us, and we're like, hey, who's that guy? And we ended up meeting him because we heard him talking about us. Uh, and then you know, Glib was wandering around, and I think he got, he got a. Uh, what happened there? I was accosted. Glib you were yeah. accosted. <laughs> got sideswiped by Captain Narwhal. Accosted. Captain Narwhal. <laughs> Whose real name is... Oh, I can't look at my notes. No, that's remember. that's fine. I don't name. expect to remember people's fucking names. <laughs> Commander he something. Commander Arnhart. No, he's he's still a captain. Oh, you said Commander. Did I? Well, he's a captain. Yeah. I okay, well then let me change that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, super racist guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I informed... I know what city we're in. Which one? What city are we in? Baron. <laughs> with an I or an O? And it's in the I. There you go. country is called Baron, Baron with an O. Hooray! Baron. I participated in a dog. No, there's going to be more. Okay, so um, uh, what happened next, Roman? I recruited the, everybody to join a team of special forces uh, to work as contractors for Theron, at least for this one job. Uh, I took them, and we met Brennan, and he sent us on a job to... Oh God! The South. No, we had to. Move. We had to uh, cross yeah. cave for half the time. Yeah, out the South Gate. <laughs> okay. I remember that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what what happened next? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The Cove in the South. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to get some had... sword. I don't like being quizzed. We had to. We had to no, find no, no. the it's, cultist. It's turn so, now. Vecna. Now it's Glib's <laughs> turn. All right. Yeah. So this cult wants this fancy sword that can like resurrect the dead. Okay. And this sword is very dangerous. Well, no, they want the sword. Brennan has the sword. So we're trying to shut down this cult before they can come take the sword. Nice. Yeah. Somebody shut was, it down. Everybody else thought that the sword was out and about, but no. Oh, no. no. I was part of the recovery team who got the sword back. Yes, for the you were. <laughs> fucking, fucking Ted questioning the goddamn <laughs> bandits. No. Yeah, I know. Does... <laughs> Blade of yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of let that one thing? Go. No, cool. <laughs> All right, okay. So you guys had to go. You guys had to go take out this cult. What happened next, Ava? <laughs> Knox, it's all <laughs> you. It's I all you. Know. What happened in the so, cult? We need. We, need we fought place. things and we defeated things, and it was like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nailed but like, it. who was in the cult? Just answer that. Who was in the cult? <laughs> I had to have specifics. Nope, just like. Who was in I there? Hit, it's pretty things. general. Just who was in there? I just hit things. No, nope, who was in there? Come on. I don't. Come like, on, two oh words. God. Just two Bad words. Guys. Bad guys. No, nope. two words. Wrong two words. <laughs> Come on. Cultists. Cultists. <gasps> the cult of who? Vecna. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I I was letting her answer it. All right, because. Because you got most of it without the help of Knox. Uh, I told you I wasn't a very good participant. Bordos, I don't like being Roman and Glib all gain inspiration. Whoa! Uh, Knox is not. Ew. 
Wait, I got inspiration. I'm good with you got that. inspiration. Okay. Well, that's inspiration good. Inspiration fifth edition, for those who are unaware, allows you to gain advantage or invoke disadvantage against an enemy for one roll. Does not count for damage. So attack rolls, saving throws, stuff like that. Also, DM inspiration isn't the same as Bardic inspiration? No. Oh, I thought it was, it just didn't expire. No. Okay. Mine mine doesn't expire. You can use it whatever oh, yeah. the fuck you want. You cannot get more than one. You can bank it and just hold on to it until whenever. So, I need to fucking get out of Google Talk. I am sorry. I'm very... Stop it! There we also, go. we're in a cave. We're not in a town. Okay, fine. Fuck. <laughs> you want, you want cave too. music? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please. Are we in a cave? Cave or a cove? I remember there was confusion about it. The cave is we had a on cave the shore of a, a cove, I think. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, this is spooky. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are you guys happy now? Yeah. I Those disrupted the, the hear it. illusion that was hiding the cave. Turn it up a little bit more. So the cave was on a beach. A the cave cove. was on a beach. The cave was on a okay. beach, for sure. For sure. Okay. So, we begin again. With me grabbing some dice real quick, because I totally forgot. One sec. Get that shit. Talk amongst yourselves! Get that shit! So we just destroyed this big baddie. Apparently, who Did was... Did we level up yet? Um, no, he told us to go ahead and do that before tonight. Did oh, you... okay. <laughs> I, like, sort of did a little bit. I got some special stuff going on. Because I'm special. Uh, I was thinking, uh, we said last time at the very end we were going to take a short rest as soon as we started this time. Okay. So that we could spend some hit dice and stuff, because a couple of us are a little bit mangled. Right. Right, right. Okay, well then... Oh, what the hell? I don't know if I need to re-roll hit dice. Now then! Uh, you do need to roll one so that you can... roll a bag of dice. You do no, need to roll one so you can add it to your max hit points. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so you all leveled up to level nine ahead of time because of reasons. Mm -hmm. And you guys find yourself, after defeating that that elite black guard, uh, at a T intersection of a cave. In there, you can go left, you can go you can go right, or back the way you came. Well, can we hold up? Just pause one second. Sure. This dude that we killed, I remember him having a big old hammer with a face on a it. A big old All hammer right? with a face on it. I would like to look at big hammer with face. Okay. It is. Does it have uh, any sort of like magic power from having a face on it? Um, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and make a oh shit, make a knowledge arcana check? I'm gonna actually fix this real quick. Sorry for the delay, guys. Mm -mm. Okay, so you got a 21. I need to fix this shit real quick. Sorry for the delay. I'm so sorry. What are you fixing? Uh, just, just the screen, because it didn't oh. show the rolls. Okay, so you got a 21. With that, you know that it is not particularly magical. It does have a small enhancement enchantment on it that will allow it to be stronger. But realistically, it's not anything like it's not going to do bonus fire damage or anything like that. Hmm. I would like to take it. Um, okay. Uh, it is three times your size. <laughs> uh huh. And it is also two hundred pounds. Ooh. I don't think I can carry that. Yeah. He was a big dude. If you remember, I said he was about seven four. Yeah, he was twice my twice my height at least. Yeah, he's he's a big motherfucker. Uh, he is to, to carry this. You would need to have like a twenty-two strength. Oh my it's, God, it's a yeah, big boy weapon. Yeah, that's guys, we're not taking the hammer. <laughs> Leave the hammer with the face. Is it? Could I pick it up and put it in my bag of holding? Definitely. Okay. You you can't exactly like pick it up. You're kind of a weaker boy. But you can sort of slide it <laughs> in there is along the ground. <laughs> so with with Glib's help, you're able to get it in. Just okay. Fine. All right. 
we'll take it back and uh, have somebody. You you can do some work on it, Glib, and you know. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'd like to go Do through the rest of Do you want to try coffee. and use this giant ass sledgehammer at some point? Because you may have to melt it down and start from scratch. Well, hey. We can make two mini hammers. Exactly. <laughs> like eight mini hammers for your size. That's awesome. And a couple of levels, maybe. <laughs> uh, what happened to Nox? Uh, well, she dead? I know. Okay. Um, in the meantime, do we want to rest? Do we want a short rest? Um... Can I? Can we short rest and I like rifle through this guy's pockets and yeah, everything yeah. and the uh, other two guys at the same definitely. time? Uh, there's actually four dudes there plus the elite. Okay. Guard. Um, yeah, you guys can go ahead and spend your hit dice. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, when you spend your hit dice and in fifth edition, you basically regain hit points. I am also going to sing a song of rest. As nice. so that everyone who spends a hit die to regain hit points will get another six. Oh wow! Is that for everybody? Like, is, is that like every time? Anyone in my party? Oh, no, see you, anyone? You just over over all the dice you spend, you get an additional six. Not every die you spend, you get right, 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 right. Six. If you spend hit dice this short rest, you get an additional six hit points back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Thanks. Uh, so those of you who want to go ahead and spend your hit dice to heal up, you can, and they just add six to that. And I get my Bardic Inspirations back. Yep. I get my key points back. So, as you guys are resting, um, mortals, you go into this this faint meditation. Um, something that you're, you've been more and more accustomed to as time goes on, which isn't too strange. Um, but this time, instead of being greeted with, with your usual monastery or your blank slate building that, that you've normally seen yourself at when you meditate this time you see yourself in more of a glade it's very well forested and it seems to be midday mm -hmm. throughout throughout the entire glade you can hear you can hear nature around you let me actually change up this song to match because give that's that, important give me that nature there you go yeah. You can hear the sounds of, of a spring not too far away from you. You can smell the grass around you. This this uh, this meditation session seems a little bit more lucid than it usually is. Out of hmm. the corner of your eye, you see something moving in the trees, and it's large. Oh! Now you're already a pretty pretty tall person, but this is fairly large. You remember seeing a beast like this? while you were traveling with Nox and your brother. Okay. As it sort of comes out of the trees, you can see that it's a very large bear. And this isn't something that is a mystery to you at this point, is it? Yeah, I, I think I recognize this bear vaguely from seeing it somewhere in my travels. And I've seen it. I feel like I've seen this before in my meditation as you, well. It just has never approached. You've seen him off and on again, and there's something very peculiar about this bear. It's the fact that he has two horns, not two unlike yours. Mm -hmm. uh, are your horns more ram horns? Are they just sort of pointing out of your head? How would they're, you describe them? They're uh, shorter. They're shorter? They're, okay. Yeah. His are, are a drastic exaggeration of your own horns. Okay. So whereas yours are just a little bit pointing out of your head, his are billowing, almost like, almost like an elk. Okay. As he walks up to you, he is about maybe 20 feet away when he just stops and eyes you up and down. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call out to him be like, what What do you want? Like, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my, in my meditation, in my, in my mind? He lets out a almost disgusted uh, exhale. <sighs> Rokat. Oh, I'm I'm Mordos. What do you, what can I do for you? I have seen you uh, in the glades. I feel like you've been, a, you know, a part of my meditation for a while. Why did you? Why are you approaching me now? When you mentioned him approaching, he then starts easing back up to you. He gets a little close. He doesn't seem too threatening but he's more inquisitive. 
with his movement. He starts to circle you a little bit. Seems to be measuring you up to his own standards. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just I like I'm really uh kind of on guard. I don't really know what's what Rokat is doing. Calm yourself. Breathe. And he lets uh. in this big inhale. And you can feel some of your clothing sort of drift in his direction. So he's just from his breathing, my, just my from clothing his breathing. is like... You, you can definitely shit. tell that he is a being of power. Wow. Okay. I have long watched the path you walk. What, what do you want from me? A challenge shall be issued. What? I'm just really confused what he want, like what, why, what's going on right now? Your path is one of balance. I am the scales. And then he gets up on his hind legs. Oh. And oh shit. The thing you see next is rather alarming. It's not something that you've actually seen before. At least in your travels. Mm -hmm. His body begins to shrink and change. And his his fur recedes and it becomes more of a red tinge. And you see a, a creature that looks oddly similar to yourself. Wearing hides and above his head you can see a bear's head. It seems to be sort of a makeshift cowl. But his horns have not changed. They're very they, big they, horns. They protrude a lot. About okay. maybe a foot and a half. Which is something that you as a tiefling know is very rare. Okay. I wanna I wanna approach this this being and just just bow. Show like respect. You offer much grace, but in you I see something greater. What do you what do you see? Hatred, anger, ferocity, tenacity. These are the things that you require if you wish to hold my power. How do I how do I uh, master that side of me? I usually just repress it. Let it out. In time, you will know how to control it. And with hmm. that, he steps back into the glade, and he sort of, he shimmers away. You come out of your meditation a few moments later. Uh, what's strange is that you're... It's not like a normal meditation for you when you wake up peaceful. You seem startled, almost. Uh, almost like you've had a bad hangover. But as you, right. as you come out of it, you feel something new awaken inside of you. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know where to... I'm just kind of like, I'm uh, uh, uneasy, I guess. It wasn't like a peaceful experience. Not a pleasant experience for you. Okay. Your, your body seems jarred and you're, you're left weakened. Uh, however, you, while in this weakened state, you do have still the chance to rest up. So it's not going to give you any adverse effects. More of a mental thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll like I'll get up from I was sitting down, I was in a deep trance, but I'm really sweaty and I'm just gonna be like Ugh like try and look as I'm trying to just like regain my, my footing, so okay. to speak. Uh Glib, Roma, what do you guys want to do during your rest? Anything particular? You you, uh, you see Mortos going in, going into this thick meditation, and then he wakes up startled, almost like he was in the middle of a nightmare. I am going to... I'll just hum my song of rest while we're doing this. Um, what? Uh, can you hum that for me? Nice. Nice. I'm also going to be going through the pockets of all the people that we've killed. Okay. Uh, in their pockets, you don't find anything in particular. You could tell that they were battle-ready. They weren't... This isn't, like, their, their usual clothing. 
It's so uh, like zero gold, zero, zero no gold on the lower good guys. weapons or anything. Oh, let me get to that. Jesus. <laughs> Slow your roll there, buddy. You said there was nothing. <laughs> I said there was no money. Uh, there, they, with their longbows, you notice that there is a small rune on each of the handles. Mm -hmm. And the same for the, the swords actually have a series of runes laid in along them. Okay. Um, do I recognize the rune? Make an arcana check. Deep boop. Oh. Uh, Let's take that 11. Uh, yeah, you do not. You do not recognize these runes. You know okay. that they are, are in fact magical, but you're not exactly sure how. Okay. Um, so I couldn't compare them onto runes on other weapons that I may have seen or you have could, but in. they're they're entirely different. Okay. You know that you know that the runes on your blade are specific. Okay. And that, as a general rule, if someone's putting runes on a weapon, it's going to be very specific to what they want it to do. There's no real general rule. It's like an alphabet. Okay. You can't really um, compare a Z to an A and be like, I know what that is. Oh, I thought I always thought runes were more like uh, pictograms. They're like whole words or no, something. No. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, All right. How... Um, yeah, that's... Okay. On on the big guy, though, he does have a small coin purse on him with about 100 gold in there. Okay. Uh, you can tell oh, that he, he... He was in a rush, so there's that. Um, and then... The only, only other thing on him is you find a small die. As in for molding or for rolling? For rolling. Okay. On it, uh, it has a skull on each on each face except for one where it has a heart. Okay. Can I do an arcana check on this? Because I, I feel can. like it may have some significance. Another 11. Nope. You got nothing. <laughs> okay. I will pocket that. Okay, Glib, was there anything that you want to do, or do you just want to watch him taking all the stuff? I'm leaving uh, all the weapons. I don't really care. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep watch. Okay. Uh, yeah, I it's wasn't relatively hurt, quiet. So I don't really need you, to rest. You hear almost nothing. Did you want to scout ahead while they're resting? No, I'll stay with the party. Okay. All right. But... Um. You guys. <gasps> hey, you guys want to keep going without Nox, or do you want to try and check up on her? Um. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's keep okay. going. All right, so uh, which way do you guys want to go? There's a way left and a, and a way right. Which way uh, did the big guy come from? Left. Let's go that way. That's probably where Agreed. shit is. Okay, Yeah. so Agreed. you all go left. Uh, throughout this, this pathway, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. It's a little bit of a winding path. Um, based on what you know of the illusions already, you can tell that you're currently not in an illusion, just a really long winding pathway. Uh, as you sort of get down to the, for lack of a better word, the the nitty gritty of the pathway, it's a little bit more rough, not as not as well traveled. There's a lot more stalagmites and stalactites sort of littering the the entire path. Uh, I want you guys to go ahead and make um, athlet or acrobatics checks to try and get around these because it's so rough. Okay. It's a relatively um... low DC, so you don't have to worry about too much. Wow. <laughs> wow, a wee walk. <laughs> did did you want to use your inspiration on that one, Glib? Uh, or you just walking that? around rocks, right? Yeah, you're just walking around, walking around rocks. Yeah, it should be fine. I'll trip. <laughs> okay, cool. You take three damage from falling on a stalactite as it pierces some of Ouch. your armor. Way to go. Uh, on closer inspection, this isn't mere rock. It appears to be obsidian. Oh. Oh, Ooh. which, as a blacksmith, you know is yeah. a very, very rare material. Yeah, let's grab some of this shit. Okay, do you want to try and uh, what tools do you have to grab it? Uh, it's it's in the stalag it's in the stalagmites. You'd have to literally pry it well, out with your strength or break it up with some type of chisel. I've got my blacksmithing tools and my tinker tools, so I still might uh, have a little in, kinda in your tinker tools, hammer and you, you would have a hammer and chisel which you would use mm -hmm. to sort of engrave uh, lines in the metal. So go but ahead not make... big enough to... They, they would it be enough? To... They would be big enough, but you wouldn't really get a, a good chunk off. Maybe a small one, maybe a couple ounces. We also have a face hammer. <laughs> that yeah. I don't think any of us are strong enough to wield. <laughs> <laughs> we could double person. Maybe if, maybe if Glib was as tall as you are, 
he'd be able to wield it, but unfortunately, no. No, none um, of you are strong enough to use it. You do have other weapons and items you could use to, to grab it, though. Wardos, what's your strength? Oh, no, not good. It's uh, eight. <laughs> oh, okay. He's so it's nice. boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. My nerd. Hey, Nox. <laughs> Hi, Nox. You get, um, if you rolled any hit dice during our short rest, you get an six extra four. six hit points back because I sang a song of rest. Okay, thank you. Which I refused to actually sing. Um, Good call. Despite Gail's, uh... Don't worry, it was just the internet's for porn. It's fine. He was just humming that. <laughs> Let's see. I was trying to see if I had anything that could help us get some obsidian out uh, for glue. So, but so I don't right now, anything. you guys went left. Uh, and you guys found an, an obsidian cache, which is a very rare crafting material for blacksmiths. Uh, and they're currently trying to figure out how they can get some out of a stalactite. You could use my adamantine quarterstaff. You could. Someone wanted to do that. Just bash it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can go make an attack roll. Uh, me? Yeah, if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, punch yeah, that rock. That's, that's totally fine. You're able to just sort of, instead of whacking it sideways, you, you know enough about gems and metals to sort of hit where it connects to the rock and pry it. And with that with that attack roll, you're able to pull it out just fine. You have about a uh, two pound chunk, just a big hunk of obsidian. Nice. Um, obsidian's lighter, which which will make it great for, uh, for weapon blades. Not so much for hammers or armors. Okay, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hand that block to Glib. Like, okay, hey, hey, Thanks, Glib, buddy. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a blacksmith check, and I'll I'll, be, I'll tell you what what you can actually craft with that one. Oh shit! Yeah, wow. yeah, dog. You know that you can craft any bladed weapon. Anything with a blade, you know that this would become mastercraft. And with enough work nice. and effort, you could possibly make it into a plus two weapon. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's really the, the only good chunk here. The rest have either been mined out or they're just not big enough. Roman begins to feel some regret at having such attachment to his weapons. <laughs> okay, uh, do you guys want to keep going? Yeah. Okay, so uh, as you guys continue on, you see that there is now an opening. And this opening is less of sort of a cave opening and more of a man-made door. The door appears to be uh, iron in make, and it has a giant face on it. The face appears to be uh, some sort of monster or a creature. Similar to the face that was on the hammer? Uh, No. That that was just some dude's face. Um, (laughs) Am I able to do any sort of check to see what monster that might be? Sure. Uh, Go ahead and make an intelligence check. Okay. I don't think Dungeoneer is a thing in 5 edition. I oh, yeah. See you know that that it is the face of an ogre. Uh, there's, I think there's an ogre in those, in those behind those doors. That's fine. <laughs> we can handle that. It's fine. Okay. All what right. do you guys do? You're, um, you have a big old door in front of you now. Nox, you might need your help on this one. Is the door closed? Yeah, it's closed. Oh. Then I will step out of the way and allow our rogue to try to pick the yeah. lock if she wants to. Okay. Alex, can you like check for traps and shit? Okay. Uh, okay, Oof. you find no traps. Do you guys want me to pick the lock? Uh, is it locked? I'm can going to like... assume so. There is a lock on it. Okay, all right. You do not then... know if it's locked or not. Then, yeah, if you don't mind, just crack that sucker. Okay, so it's a relatively easy lock to pick. As you go in with your thieves tools, you hear some, you hear a series of clicks, but they're not the clicks you're used to when you're fumbling with a lock. Uh, I need you all to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, shit. Nine. Nine. Ooh, damn, dude. Dude, what the hell? Yeah, you, all, you all are able to sort of dodge out of the way <laughs> as you see this this creature's mouth drops open and a ball of flame shoots out of it. 
As you all jump out of the way, the ball whizzes past your heads, hits the back wall, and there is a huge explosion. You know that if you were hit by this, you'd be taking the equivalent of a, of about a 7th level fireball. Oh. It would have not have been pretty. But after that, the door unlocks. <laughs> Simple. Easy. Good job, Knox. Nailed Thank it. you. Did it. <laughs> what, what do you guys want to do now? You now have an unlocked well, door. Um, let's go in. Right? Okay, so as, 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 as you open yeah. the door, uh, it, you hear a series of ka-chunk. It hasn't been in a long time. <laughs> this reveals to you a large room. The room appears to be maybe about, I'm going to say, 200 feet in diameter. It's fairly big. Uh, looking in, looking in though, you see that there is an altar at the back, and there are standing there two people. One of which is dressed up in uh, plate mail, the other in some robes. Okay. Do they notice our presence? Oh my, yes! Uh... <laughs> The, the one in the armor turns to you and draws what appears to be a greatsword, and the other just seems to put put shift her weight onto the altar and say, "My, my, my! Looks like this spider's caught herself a couple of flies." No. You'll now be telling me who you are. Uh, <laughs> Time's a wasting, mortals. Did you say mortals? Mortals. Oh, oh okay. I, like, I heard the same thing you did. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Bad choice of words. I'll look at her and say, well, then why don't you tell us who you are first? Ah, of course. Where are my manners, sir? You could definitely tell she's being a bitch to you. Uh, <laughs> in case that didn't come across. My name is... Silvaria Voya. Uh, and what are you doing This is here? my accomplice, Tabany. And what are you doing here? Um, I believe I asked you your names. Now please oblige. You don't wish to be rude to your guests. Or should I say, to your hosts. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm Craig. <laughs> Craig. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> okay. And what about your lovely compatriots, Craig? Well, I'll let them introduce them themselves. Uh, I am going to. Oh God. Um, let Glib do some talking while I try to find the right the spell that I'm looking for. Okay. okay. Do you guys enter the room at all? Or are you just gonna stand in the doorway? Uh, oh, I thought we already had entered the room. I think yeah. we're, I think you guys opened the door and then they greeted you from the doorway. Yeah. There may be a hundred feet in. Okay, yeah, we're we're in there. Okay, so you all go in, and uh, as you walk in, door does not su surprisingly does not close on you. Well, that's good. Do, do you guys uh, approach them a little closer? How far are we from her? Uh, once you're inside, you're about maybe eighty feet. About I think we got to yeah. so. we got to investigate yeah. what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and stride into the room. Okay, to get within about sixty feet of her. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, so you guys get within about sixty feet, uh, and she goes, glorious, snaps her fingers, and the door swings shut. Ah, there it is. Now then, we can actually talk without further intrusions. Your names, please. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Red Blood, we both know that's not your real name. Ah, uh, you got me. I'm Mordos. <laughs> nice to meet you. What about you, Elf Boy? I ignore that completely. Mm. See, I don't like that at all. Uh, I need to make a will save. Uh, you mean you wisdom? Yes, sorry, wisdom save. Sorry. Yeah, no, Ooh, you're now charmed. Shit. You immediately talk to her. My name is Roman. 
And where are you from, Roman? Such I'm a from... lovely name. <laughs> I am from everywhere and nowhere. Oh. You can't be coy. I am not. Oh. No, I mean, like, that's just me telling you you can't be coy when you're charmed like this. I, I'm not. Okay, all right. <laughs> but she's, okay, I, I, I understand. That's me I understand. telling you I, I'm not. All right, okay, I, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, and, uh, s small man, gnome, what is your name? Yes, I'm a gnome. My name's Lib. Hello. And lastly, madam? Knox. Wait, I'm sorry. Back up. Well, never mind. What's up? I have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, but my yeah, advantage still is still a seven, still so I, I'm I, I looked. I looked, <laughs> trust me. Um, Nox, are, are you from these forests? I don't believe I've heard the name Nox. Well, then I'm obviously not from here, am I? Oh. Ooh, you are a viper. I do declare that is glorious. Um, I want to. Then go, go, go ahead. I was just gonna like step forward and be like, "So, what do you want? Like, what are you doing here?" Mm, a better question is, "What are you doing here? You entered my cove, slaughtered my guards." So it's your cult. Mm, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's why we're here. We're here to investigate um, a cult, hmm. and you look like you might be a leader. And investigate you did. Ah, indeed. Detect thoughts, unless my charmed condition prevents me from doing it. Uh, no, your, your charm fades after she gets your name and your location. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, I'm going to um, throw cast Detect you, Thoughts. Uh... And I want to know... Well, generally it tells me what she's thinking right now. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, um, deeper than head. that, I can... On each of my turns, I can try to dig a little bit deeper... So and she, if has, I am she gets to make a saving throw, though. Yes. DC 16. Uh, she passes. Shit, okay. Does she know that once... Um, does she know that you did it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, all right. So, so you just sort of, like, stare at her, and she's like, gross. <laughs> um, can you give me some more description of what this woman looks like? Uh... Now that you actually have time to sort of peer at her, she, she is an elven woman. She looks to be a high elf. Uh, and her compatriot is a half-orc. They look to be very plain-looking. She okay. Well, the, the half-orc looks very plain. Uh, she looks very fair, though. Her, her beauty is not something that you've seen in the lands of Theron. You assume, to, you assume it to be something along the lines of her lineage and where she's actually from. Uh, the clothes she's wearing is just a blackened robe, and around her neck she's, she has a, a medallion that has the symbol of Vecna on it. That, that okay. same uh, uh, eye within a hand. Uh, that would have been... Uh, okay. She doesn't appear to be wielding any weapons, however. The half-orc, however, is wielding one of the greatest greatswords you guys have ever seen. It, it's very ornate in make. It appears to be... Uh, Master or quality, something that would rival even what Wade could think of. Okay. Um. Yeah, I like. I don't know. Can I do like an insight check to see if she's just completely lying to me, or yeah, did dude. she say that she's not the uh, leader? Yeah. Okay. Well, she she said it's not her cult. Okay. Well. I. You can hmm. tell with your insight that it is not her cult. But she is definitely a leader of the cult. She okay. she was being coy when she said it's not her cult because it's the cult of Vecna. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, yeah. As, she's not the thing they're worshiping, but, but she's, she's running. The you show. can definitely tell that that she is in charge. So I'll ask her. Since you're asking all these questions, why are you here? You are clearly not from these parts. Mm, I am on a mission from my lord. What kind what of mission? What would that mission be? Mm, that's entitled information. Well, I'm going to try to detect thoughts again. <laughs> same. It's going to be the same thing. Oh, okay. It's just standard. Yeah, that, that's my my spell save uh, DC. She does always... not save this time. Uh, the first thing you hear in her in her mind is, "Hello, Roman." 
She doesn't know I'm there. She does. How? You can tell that this is she is a very advanced spellcaster. She doesn't per, she doesn't prohibit you from her mind, but she just merely greets you. What, so what do you guys do? That's a good question. I'm trying to think like how to. Okay, so so she's so much more powerful than me that I don't actually get the effect of the spell. Oh no, that that that's what's on her mind is her greeting you. As turn one, that's that's her top layer of thought. Okay. Now we're moving so on to what the other team wants to do, so that we can continue. Okay. Um. Well, I get I get the. Uh, I think you're not just gonna let us leave. So mm, you're very right. I think now you that... should you should tell us what you're doing here, or we're mm. gonna make you tell us. Oh, you're going to make me. <laughs> Please tell me how you're gonna do that. And then Roman, the next thing you hear in, in your head is, "I really hope they don't attack the half orc." Okay. <laughs> um. How do you know that's not a trap? I know. <laughs> she knows that we're here. She knows I'm in her head, so she's telling me whatever. Well, I can't hear any of that. So uh, I... Nox, what are you doing in this situation? You just see just Roman staring back. at this half elf, or I'm sorry, this this full elf. I'm just hanging back. You're hanging back. Okay. How far away are we? Uh, just... Sixty feet. Okay. Um, I probably I'm gonna start advancing. Okay. Not not just like walking, but like, yeah, yeah, like walk quickly or slowly. Yeah, walking as in like I'm not afraid. Okay, so you go your full movement. They don't react. You see the half orc kind of tighten her grip on her greatsword. Okay. Which you know isn't too weird. You guys are are currently enemies, and she's just preparing herself for for you to try and attack. Okay, I'm gonna be walking up with him. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you guys are all about. Okay. Your I have not up. moved. I did not move, and very quickly, while they're moving ahead of me, so hopefully they're drawing her attention. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn my head over my shoulder and send a message to Knox, uh, which is a whisper that only she can hear. Okay. Uh, and tell her, don't attack the half-orc, go straight for the bitch. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to try, as, as I'm walking forward, I just want to, I want to talk to the, the woman. I just want to say, look, we've, we've fought Tarask and lived. We've killed Tons of drow. We fought things that you could not even imagine, and we've always won, and we've always destroyed anything that came against us. What makes you think that you're going to stand any chance? Hmm. And I don't know if you want me to roll something, but yeah, intimidate. Okay. Intimidation check. Ha! <laughs> That's quite interesting. Killed drow, you say? A Tarask. And creatures I could never dream of. That is really interesting. Well, that sounds like you're very strong and very powerful. <laughs> ah. And while she's talking, she's pointing her finger at you. And I want you to make a will save, Mortos. Okay. Wisdom save. Shit. It's gonna happen Just, a lot. Um, save! <laughs> no. Can I use my inspiration point? You, you can use your inspiration point to get that 19. <laughs> so at first you you sort of like feel like your body is not under your control and then you just shake it off. Oh. Oh, this will be fun, won't it? Maybe for me. Tabany, stand back. And she just like pulls her robes off and you can see that, that she's wearing a sort of a sleeveless jerkin uh, adorned with a bunch of vipers. They're not real snakes, they're just sort of ingrained on them. She cracks her knuckles, and she says a command word. It seems to be in a language you don't understand. And a weapon apparates in her hand. It appears to be a scythe. Go ahead and make a religion okay. check. I will do that. You all can, by the way. It's not just limited to Mordos. Oh. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> Come on, Knox. <laughs> what am I Sorry. rolling? Religion. Uh, religion. Oh, I'm not any good at those. Do you want to try? Yeah. Yeah, 21, holy shit. shit. Uh, you know that it is the weapon of the deity Vecna is, is his chosen weapon. So it's of course that his, his his loyalists would prefer to use that weapon themselves. Uh, then I want you all to roll initiative. Bam. Um, by the way, as a part of message, um, my target can reply in a whisper that only I can hear if she wanted to. Okay. Can I use that at any point? Yeah, it, it, it'll be a free action. Okay. Just like you were talking to him. Yeah. I think it's supposed to kind of happen in all in the same round, but I don't think we got a chance to. Sorry. So let's see here. We got... Uh, who's got the higher decks, Nox or uh, Roman? Uh, Mine's I, three. I got. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yours is five. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Okay, so that's gonna be Nox. Roman. Oh, do I need to roll for? No, Barry rolls with me. Okay. Yeah. Barry healed up, by the way. He's he's totally fine. Okay. Hey, we're leveled up, right? Yeah, you guys are leveled up. Okay, just making sure. During that rest, you guys got your levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, first would be Mordos. Um, the has stepped back about maybe 15 feet away from from this uh, the, this other lady, Silvare. Uh, it is your go. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I don't really know what... I feel like a, a, a power like within that I haven't really... See, like I haven't felt it before, but I I know how to direct it in some way. You you hear a voice in the back of your head going, "Breathe," and I want to like take a deep breath and like close my eyes and then just like open them and be looking at the orc. And I want to use charm person. Okay. And there's that. I didn't put in the save throw, but I'll just look at it really quick. It should auto calculate. Um, I didn't you, do. You, oh, I asked you. I know. I it's, I just realized uh, eight that. Eight plus didn't proficiency put in plus wisdom. What's that? Eight plus proficiency plus your wisdom modifier. Okay. Um. So twelve, and then whatever your wisdom is. Yeah. So seventeen. Okay. So let's see here. The orc you said. The orc, yes. Okay, so she passed. Damn. She she feels it, and then she keeps stepping backwards. Uh, so it is it is Silvare's turn. So the first thing she's going to do is uh, she's going to take her hand away from the scythe, point it at Mordos, and then she's going to make two attacks on you. Okay. Uh, that's a miss, for sure, and that's a miss. So as she fires out these two fiery bolts from her hand, you just dodge out of the way, and you're, you're able to knock one away with, with your adamantine quarterstaff. Okay. That is going to go ahead and make it Nox's turn. What do you do? I'm going to ask Barry to... It's just the two of them, right? Uh, yeah, it's just the two of them in a closed room. Okay, I'm going to go for what's-her-face, not there the are, orc. There are two ladies, so the elf? Mm-hmm. Okay, so go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh, the, the half-orc is female, too? Yeah, they're both females. Oh, okay, I missed that. I actually have their stats already written up. I'm so smart. I don't know if that did anything. Uh, there, there it goes. is. Blights. 15 versus AC. Uh, it actually hits her. Hits her pretty fucking hard. Yeah. Uh, she takes 13 damage as she gets bit in the leg. She shakes up and goes, damn, mutts! Okay, and then I'm going to go in and do this to her. Okay, so you actually hit her pretty hard. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> so that's Just 28 damage uh no that's 38 that's four, 43 damage <laughs> you can tell that you took a sizable chunk out of her side but she's still up and going 
Uh, Jesus. It, it seems like this is just a little paper cut in the, in the grand scheme of things to her. Uh, that's going to go ahead and make it Roman's turn. Oh, okay. Um, Nox, Can are I, you still uh, whisper behind? to you? Oh, yeah. And, yes. And tell you um, that did nothing. Maybe go for the necklace. Okay. Uh, I can't reply back to you again. It's just like I sent something to you and you sent something yeah. to me. So, okay. well, smoke you just kind of have to assume I heard it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm okay. just going to give you a look like. Okay. Are you still behind me by like 60 feet or so? No, I went up and sneaked attacked. Yeah. Okay. She, oh, she, that's uh, so. That's right. So you're right there I'm next close to close range. Her. Yeah. Okay. So. Nice uh, scale. Okay. So now, Knox, Barry, and Mordos are all engaged with Silvara, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I am going to cast dissonant whispers on her at. Second level. Okay. So she has to succeed on a saving throw, or take three d six psychic damage. Uh, she does not save. So she takes no. She takes more than three d six. She's taking four d six. But yeah, the the macro is right. So. That thirteen damage is right. Okay. And she must move as far away from me as possible. On her next turn, right? Um. The creature doesn't. Uh, yeah, because I mean she can't move yet. It's not her turn. Uh, so on her turn, it, she no, it right must away. immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows. Okay, uh, so Mordos and Knox, you guys see her get sort of terrified, and she starts to run in the opposite direction from where uh, Roman is. You guys can okay. make a tax opportunity if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Was that a main? Boom. Yeah, main hand. You get a whole action out of that, don't you? Or is it just the one? It's, ju it's just like one quick attack. Okay. Um, okay, so you both hit, dealing in total 17 points of damage. Good job, guys. And you got my 13? I did count the 13. Okay. Alright, so that is going to go ahead and make it uh, Glib's turn. Alright, so are we are we hitting the fight girl, I guess? She's kind of like running away. Yeah, she was feared. And the other one's just chilling. Yes. Well, I don't want to leave you guys. Glib. I think we kind of got... Eh, I don't know, never mind. So how about we do a little bit of fight music? Yeah. Yeah. So is is the half-orc closer to me now than the elf? Uh, no. Well, yes, technically. Because she's still basically standing right there next to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Except for the lady who's running away. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wait, I'll just go punch the half orc. <laughs> punch her? Or oh. hit her with punch your sword? Her. Punch with my sword. Punch with your sword part. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love how casual that is. Like, I'm going to go punch him. <laughs> she hasn't acted yet, has she? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, you should go use two attacks. Pew, pew. Okay. You uh, hit with the first one, and you miss with the second, dealing five damage. Hit. And then I'll just hang out standing beside her. Okay. Alright, so that's going to make it her turn. Uh, being hit, she looks to uh, Sovare and just says, No. Raises her greatsword and decides to slash you. She's going to make two attacks against you. One's a miss. One is a critical. <laughs> you take the following damage. I don't trust these dice rolls because we can't yeah, see Yeah, cheater. Just wanted to go 16. on record and say that. You take 24 points of damage. Okay. As she slices you twice, that's her turn. Next is going to be Mordos. Okay. Um, how's she looking? How's Silvari looking? Good. She's looking okay, huh? Looking real good right now. She's, oh crap, I wasn't keeping track of damage. She's taken something like 60 points of damage. Yep. Eight, no, 90 points of damage so far. And she's looking real good. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Uh, 
Ooh, okay. Um, how far can I can I chase her? I have 45 speed. Yeah, you so can chase I don't her. Know if catch she, her. She's only okay. got 30, so you can catch up to her regardless. Okay, I'm gonna run up to her, and uh, before I make an attack, I'm just gonna say, you know how this is gonna end, and I'm just gonna attack. Sure. Uh, once, Ooh. twice. Actually, can I use a luck point and do a reroll? I don't know how that works. I got three luck points, and I can if I I can a do a reroll of yeah. I use oh. it as a feat. Okay. And I got level eight. <laughs> I'm not like I swear to God. <laughs> I, I never looked that up because I didn't realize you had that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reroll. <laughs> you basically get to re you get to force advantage or a third dice roll, then you get to choose. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I prefer your reroll because you don't have advantage. Okay. And this and it counts for saves checks, like just so you guys okay, know. Okay. Cool. What? Cool. <laughs> Fuck. Me running. <laughs> okay, so uh, you get two hits on her, uh, yeah. dealing twenty-three damage, twenty-four damage. No, twenty-one. I know. Twenty-one. Now. Twenty-one damage on her. Do I re-roll the second another attack because it's critical or no? Uh, no. Okay. Um, but then I'm just gonna use flurry of blows, and I'm gonna try to use a, a stunning strike if one of those connect. Sure. Ah. Uh, Actually, I'm just gonna use Flurry of Blows, and she has to do, I think, a Dex save, or she's knocked prone. Okay. What's your save? You see, it's 17 still, right? Um, yes, I believe. Yes. Oh, can I ask a point of order? I know we're in the middle of combat. So, um, Gail, how do you do crit damage? Just double the dice roll? Yeah, I, I just okay. haven't rolled another die. You just add a whole extra die? Okay. Yeah. Uh, in certain situations, I'll have you roll again to, to do a whole other damage thing in, in mm -hmm. addition to your crit damage. But okay. that's that's rare circumstances. I'll, I'll let you guys know when that happens. Um, so one does hit, and she fails her save, so she is knocked prone. Uh, so in total, you do 21, and then you do 32, and... <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. You do 38 damage to her. Yeah. And I'm just going to whisper in her ear, you fucked up. <laughs> okay. Uh, she looks a little worse for her, but not a whole lot. Okay. Looks like she can take a good amount of those. Quite easily, <laughs> right. actually. Uh oh. Uh, then it's her turn. And she is actually going to uh, cast a spell from Throne. So I want you all to make wisdom saving throws. Oh no. Uh, I would like to use cutting words. <laughs> nope, that won't work. Never mind. Forget it. Okay. Forget that I said anything. Uh, it does not apply in this situation. And Roman. Uh, wisdom Roman. save. Yep. Cool. Everybody but Ted is, is hell. I, so what I'm going to use my indomitable to reroll that. Okay, reroll it. And I'm going to use my inspiration to get advantage on it. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? I'm going to take advantage. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, I, oh. I, I'm going to take have, use, use my inspiration, inspiration for advantage on as well. Uh, so everyone except uh, Mordos and Glib are held, meaning you're just restrained, no damage. So I couldn't use my inspiration to take to advantage. I, I, I prefer that you tell me beforehand. Yeah. Do you okay. have to roll for Barry? Uh, yeah, roll for Barry. Okay. Okay. His wisdom's terrible. Okay, he's Better held. mine. He's held as well. Better mine. Um, so as as you guys are held, you feel like a, like a magic hand or an invisible hand is sort of grabbing you and squeezing you, dealing no damage but definitely holding you in place from doing any actions. She then scoots away from you, Mordos, and she goes, "Hmm, you're much stronger than I anticipated." Tried to warn you. Tabany, activate it. And the orc, using her reaction, takes her hand and just starts cutting her neck. What? As this blood starts spilling out, it becomes a puddle. And she slowly sinks into it, becoming a, just a, a mass of flesh and bone and blood. As you're all looking, you turn back to Silvare, and she's gone. What? You what guys are no longer held. Hmm. 
And you're okay. now, you now have this big old puddle of goop where the orc was. Uh, can I examine this puddle? Because it's right in front of me. Are we uh, still in initiative? Yes. Or... Oh, sorry. I will wait. Okay, so you guys, you guys want to examine this puddle? I want to, I want to say like we should get away from this puddle. This is a bad looking puddle. Okay, so right now it is going to be Nox's turn. What do you want to do, Nox? Um, I'm gonna back away. From okay, the puddle. so as you back away, you notice that the, the puddle starts to bubble a little bit. Uh, Roman. Um. I don't want to touch it though. <laughs> uh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. Um, how close am I to the puddle? I think I'm. I should be basically right next to it at this point. Yes, you are right next to this puddle. Okay, I'm gonna try and clean it up with prestidigitation. Okay, as you do, your magic sort of. You can actually feel the magic from your spell be absorbed into this mass, and it starts to grow. Shit. Larger and larger. It's now about a foot tall. That's the thing. Uh, Glyph. Alright, so this is obviously some kind of magic. I'm gonna see if I can identify what kind of magic? Blood sure. magic or something? Uh, yeah, so with that Arcana check, you can definitely tell that this is not a magic you've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've heard of it. You've heard that, that some of the high-ranking members of Vecna's cult are able to uh, essentially sacrifice people to reanimate them. Uh -huh. To reanimate them. Mm. Well, this isn't my question. Never mind. I don't hear but any of this. When you say, reanimate who, as he's, re as he's telling you about it, there's a huge spurt of flesh and blood just shooting up to the ceiling. And as parts fall, they seem to sort of stack upon each other into this gigantic being. And oh God. it solidifies. And the orc's face rises to the top of the mass. And it's about the size of a giant. And it, it picks up the greatsword that was left on the ground in its bulbous, mucusy hand. And it appears to be a, just a short sword in this thing's hand now. And it just looks, it looks at Ted. It looks at Mortals and goes, no. Uh, and it's your turn, Mortos. <laughs> it's, it's gaze is now fixed upon you. Uh, this, okay. This bag of flesh and bone is now, you can tell it's gonna, it's gonna come after your ass. <laughs> Ow. Um, okay. Ooh, Ooh boy. Um, what do I have? Sorry, I'm just looking at... Okay, uh... I want to attack it, but it's also kind of... Kind of scary looking. I'm going to, um... I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack. Okay. Twice with my quarterstaff. Jump up on it. I don't know, I'm going to aim for the face. I'm going to try and, like, jump up and, and hit the face. Okay. Um, uh, you hit with the first and miss with the second. Okay, and then I want to also use a bonus action and use... Uh, I think it's it's one of... I use a key point, basically just take a dodge. For, for whatever attack she makes on me, I have a dodge in effect. So basically, it's going to be harder for her to hit me. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so what exactly does that do for me? Can you click that in chat so I can see it? I'm just looking... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's about a key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action. So dodge is basically what? You take half damage from an attack? Or um, plus two EC? Or how does that work? Uh, I think she might have like disadvantage on her roll against me. Okay. Let um, me I'm, just doubly check that real quick because I want to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at two. Dodge. 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 Okay. When, when you take uh, when you take the dodge action, you focus entirely on avoiding attacks until you start until okay. the start of your next yeah. turn. It's, uh, the it's attack you, you. They get disadvantage against you. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Uh, so that's gonna go and make it Nox's turn. I'm gonna... I wanna see if there's a way out. Okay, uh, you notice that the door behind you is still closed. With enough time, you could probably, uh, open it back up. Do you guys want me to try and unlock it? Um... I, I don't really... I don't really know. I'm fighting it right now. Do you want to get out of there? If you don't feel like you should be there, maybe. But, I mean, you're also pretty kick-ass, so maybe you should you should help. Whatever you want to do, Nox. This is your, this is your adventure. I think you should fight it. It's your call, Nox. Okay, um... So, when you hit it, Ted, it didn't do much damage, right? He, he, I hit it once. Attack didn't do, do a whole lot of damage in general. You could tell that it took full damage from the attack. Alright, um... Okay, so Barry goes in... And he sort of jumps in to, to do his bite attack, but he misses. Just, he, he stumbles over some of the stairs. Uh, okay, so, with your Blade of Annihilation, with your, with your main hand, you miss. But with your off hand, you do hit, dealing 11 damage, plus your sneak attack damage of 28 damage in total. Jesus. That is a lot of fucking damage, and he, this thing definitely feels it. Uh, it's it's to do a lot more damage than, than when you were attacking the that sorcerer or that wizard. Uh, next is going to go ahead and be Glit. Oh, Roman, sorry, Roman. You see all your compatriots. Who sort of is? Are any of my allies within like touching distance? Yes, uh, you can have you can touch Barry or you can touch Knox. Touch him. Reach out and touch um. <laughs> I am going to touch Nox and cast... I'm going to touch Nox and Barry and cast Heroism. And that is supposed to be at a second level, uh, which means oh, cool. uh, I can okay. cast it on both of them. And they gain temporary seven temporary hit points. Is that right? Yes. It's supposed to be my spell casting modifier. Oh uh, yeah, so three plus your uh, proficiency, which is four. Okay. Um, every round, every turn, they gain that many temporary hit points. So the they way, are also immune to being frightened. So the way temporary hit points work is you can never get more than your initial amount. Oh, that's right. So, so. It, it'll always overlap. So if they are reduced to like three, it'll go back to seven. They won't get ten. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure that also Nox knows that that's how that's going to work. So if you get brought down to up to a little bit, you're still going to go back to seven. You're not going to get more than seven. Okay, cool. Um, that is going to go ahead and make it Glib's turn now. Hey, right, so everybody's hitting this big thing, right? Or I'll smack Everybody it seems to be hitting this big old thing. All right, I will uh, I'll join the party. Okay. I'm going to go and I'm going to... Bam, bam. Nice. You actually hit with both attacks, dealing minimal damage, uh, only about 13. It's fine. I'm You're just there to look good. <laughs> just there to look good. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Nope, I'm good. Cool. That's going to go and make it this creature, Tay Benny's turn. They're going to go ahead and you just sweep with this sword. Oh, uh, damn. Hitting two people, and it's going to go ahead and attack uh, Mordos and Nox. So against Mordos, it's going to have disadvantage. Uh, okay. I know, I know. Uh, that's a miss, and that. What's your AC? Eighteen. Okay, yeah, it hits you with, with the second one though. Wow. It got a. I mean, it gets a plus seven to hit. I mean, so do you guys. What? Uh, but you don't take that much damage. You only take six. Oh, okay. So. Uh, the attack against Nox, though, it's only going to hit you one time, or try to, uh, and it misses entirely. At the end of its turn, you notice that some of the cuts you guys were doing actually start to close up. Shit. Oh, no. Shit. 
Not a whole lot. You see, you see, like one one little like dent you made with, with your staff, Mordo, starts to sort of seal a little bit. We gotta we gotta change tactics here. Okay, um, that's gonna go ahead and make it Mordos' turn. Okay, uh, is there anything above this thing? Just some stalagmites, stalactites, top ones. Uh, you know what? Blunt, obviously, blunt damage isn't doing a whole lot. Uh, you can definitely tell it's definitely taking the full damage you're doing. Yeah, but it's healing. Yes. In itself. Um, Everyone has attacked it with literally every type of weapon you could, uh, and it's not doing any bonus damage either way. You're all doing about about the same full damage. Okay. Uh, frick. What do I do? What size is it? Uh, huge. Okay. So I think you actually get a bonus, don't you, Glib? Uh, when it's larger, uh, greater. This thing stands up to be about 20 feet tall, by the way. You guys are attacking its ankles. I, know, I think that might be a halfling thing that gets that. Um, oh, right. I, I'm sorry. I confused it. Yeah. You get a bonus for that? No, halflings or, do. Oh. They, uh, they, they get a bonus if their target is larger than they are. They get like plus one AC or something. Right. Okay. Um, fuck. What do I want to do? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm probably just going to attack it again. Um, yeah. Two times. Cool. You actually crit it. Uh, so when you crit it, it sort of sinks in deep. And that does 17 damage. And then, damn. Bam. Um, and I'd like to do a, a just one arm, unarmed strike with a stunning sort okay. of... Uh, it's not even a hit. Sure. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, you don't hit. <laughs> uh, however, you did actually reduce its AC once again successfully. So now nice. you guys are going to have an easier time hitting it. Uh, but that's going to make it Nox's turn once again. What do you do? Okay, um... Add seven temporary hit points, if you haven't already. Yeah. Are oh, you going to use Furious Web Song? Okay, cool. So, uh, that is going to hit, thankfully, and he does. it does have to make a saving throw, which, dexterity? Don't know if you guys know this, not a strong suit. Ooh. Uh, it actually fails. Uh, it fails pretty bad, so it is restrained somehow. It is restrained. <laughs> just just from, like, Barry swiping at its ankles enough, it's sort of losing its balance, so it can't take any steps. And this is just like an amorphous blob of blood. It is now solidified. It, it now looks like a giant. Okay. So it's a, a giant half-orc, or just a, a giant? A giant half-orc. Okay. But it looks to be dead. Oh, damn. And, uh... Okay. Okay, so Barry did its thing. Damn! You hit do both I times. Do I get my sneak attack as you well? You do get your sneak attack bonus. So that's 18 damage so far. <laughs> Fuck my ass. I hate you sometimes. So that's Every 38 time. damage. Uh, it reels back from that giant hit. You can definitely tell that it is... Uh, it's now past its halfway point. If you were to take another couple of those, you guys might actually fail this as a great beast. But now it is going to be Roman's turn. Um, I am being I am useless in this fight. Um, I'm just gonna. You're just here to look pretty, like uh, Glib. Just here to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Glib's got the shit on him, though. Uh, I'm gonna pull out something I'm not too very skilled at. Um, just Your something I picked up. Uh, <laughs> No, I'm actually pretty okay with those. My short bow. Uh, you have and to check your not... attack real quick. Yeah, we that fix that. it up right. Let me just... Uh, short bow is still a dexterity, right? Yeah. So, plus seven, I think. Um, plus... Yeah, plus... Seven. Well... Uh, no, you miss. <laughs> you miss real bad. Okay. You tried. <laughs> you no, tried. I was trying to hit it. I was You're aiming right. for the face. It's yeah. very high up. It's very high up. It's just very a short high up. Uh, yeah. You want to do anything with your bonus action? Oh, I can, can't I? 
maybe. <laughs> I can't know because all my spells are actions. I don't. Oh, can I attack with my offhand short sword? Nope. You got. You got to make a. You got to do a full attack action with your weapon. So, so I can't do anything with my. Yes, I can. I'm going to. In who's after me in initiative? Uh, that's gonna be Glib. Hello. I'm gonna throw Glib a bardic inspiration for five. Nice. All right. Glib, bo bib, banana, fana, bo bib. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's your turn. You are now inspired. Okay, before I do an attack, I would like to uh, look at that altar. Is the altar still there? Oh, no, it's crushed. So everything... It stepped all over it. Okay. Uh, is there any signs of, like, a ritual that was done? Uh, you can assume that her cutting her own neck was the yeah. ritual. And that's it. There's no other Yeah, go ahead and make a or... perception check for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. It's like a big like motherfucker. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just use the uh, stab. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's a big orc. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. I'm you will hit one stab. time, dealing eight damage. Okay. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> you can use your inspiration on that second one if you want. No, I already used it. Oh. No, you're you bardic inspiration. Use it on your perception. Oh, bardic inspiration. Yeah. Uh, um, do I have to use it this time, or can you I save it? You do not have to can... use it this time. Okay, I'll, I'll save it. Okay. But I'll just do the first one of damage, and cool. then I'll be done. All right. Uh, I just want to let you know, you, you do still have all your superiority dice. Yep. Okay, just just making sure we know about that. All right, <laughs> cool, cool. Um, all right, so that's going to go ahead and make hole. it Tabany's turn, this gigantic orc. Uh, and seeing that she's being attacked by the rogue again, and now this dog, she's gonna go ahead and try and make a grapple check on, uh, on Barry himself. So why don't you go ahead and make a strength check for Barry? Shit. Okay. Uh, wow. Um, they actually got a tie, and it ties go to the, go to the defender. So Barry is not grabbed. Nice. But that is this thing's action. Uh, as a bonus action, though, it is going to excrete uh, boiled blood all over the place. I need you guys to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, shit. All of you. Can I use evasion as well? Yeah. Well, evasion, does that help your saving throw? Uh, basically, just if... if uh, let me just look really quick. Uh, it reduces damage by half, right? Or by, by no damage. The way that's that's you always to say active. No damage if you fail, you take half. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just an active effect. It's always okay. active. Um, but you succeed. Uh, Nox and Glit, you guys go ahead and fail. Uh, can you go ahead and make wow. them for uh, Barry real quick, Nox? Okay, so Barry also fails. So, Nox, you take uh, half damage. And then Glit will take full. Don't worry, guys, that's not a whole lot. Uh, so, Nox, you take one damage of fire. Glib, you're going to take three damage, and Barry's going to take three. As this thing spews out hot blood all over the place. You all, you're all covered in it, but you, the, the other people who were able to save don't take any damage. That's gross. It's very gross. It's real gross. Uh, yeah. Can I use any uh, reaction to that? Mm, you can use Hellish Rebuke. That's what I'm thinking, if yeah. I can. Do it up. Okay. Hellish Rebuke in... Uh, fuck, it's Dex. <laughs> nah, dog. So, uh, she's gonna take 23, but you notice that when you burn her, the skin starts to sort of peel away even more, dealing double damage. Whoa! Fuck yeah. Uh, and you can tell that, uh, on her, on her turn, when she does that, she does not heal. Interesting. You see, okay. stop her regeneration for this turn. And that is going to go ahead and make it Bordos' turn. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Does anyone ha in the party have some kind of alcohol or like a flammable liquid? I probably do. I have uh, two kind of powdered potions uh, made from blood vine, which uh, acts as flashbangs. Not, not a thermal source. 
Yeah, they just I have fall. a flask of oil. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, would I be able to use a key point to disengage safely? Yeah. Uh, move away, and I want to fashion like a, I like some Molotov. of my. <laughs> sure. You. you no, definitely... I want. Go ahead. I was gonna wrap some like my quarter staff in some uh, material that I have. I have like a. I don't know. What do I have? Like a I can even just use some of the cloth on my like on my sure. Monk You're robes. able to tear off some some cloth off, and like, off your clothing and wrap it around your your uh, core yeah. staff. Yeah, and wrap both ends. And uh, I don't know if you're close to me, Knox, but I I would love to use some of that oil. Okay. And start a fire. <laughs> okay. Do it. So uh, on your turn, you because you guys are right next to each other. Yeah. In, in the in, a, in the initiative order as well. I'll let you guys do that as as your reactions. Okay. As, as opposed to your to your full action. Oh, wow, okay, thanks. If uh, that's okay with you, Nox. That's fine. Okay, so you both use up your reactions, and you now have this... This. How are you going to ignite this thing? I have a tinderbox, so it is probably going to take an that's action. That's going to take your full action. Yeah. Okay, so you... Uh, yeah. So yep. you, you guys go ahead, and you are now... This thing is lit on fire, double-ended. <laughs> you are ready. That's your turn. Nox, it's your <laughs> turn. I'm going to throw a fireball. Oh, nice. Firebolt. <laughs> that's important. Uh, yeah, so uh, with that, you are able to actually hit it. Nice work. And Barry... Do I want Barry to do anything? I, um, I give it I give it issues on range attacks. It's so fucking huge. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so it's going to take double damage from that. So 16. And um, Barry... I'm trying to figure out if I want Barry in there with the fire. You know what? I'm gonna send Barry a little it's, bit back. It's more cauterized. It's not on fire. Okay. Um, but Mordos has fire. Yeah, I Mordos is swinging fire around. Yeah. Uh, let's do a bite attack. Okay, so it goes up and it bites it, which will hit, and it will deal 13 points of damage. God damn. All right. Oh, I need to remove one digit. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's gonna go ahead and make it Roman's turn. Well, I had a plan, a whole thing planned, and I don't know if I can do it. Okay. Um, what you got? Okay, if I have a spell that does not specifically say it gets more powerful when I cast it at a higher level, can I still cast it at a higher level and just no. not get any extra? What spell are you trying to cast at a higher level? Phantasmal Force? No. It's gotta specifically say, at higher levels. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I've been sitting here this whole round thinking that's what You're I was like, gonna yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah, I know yeah. what to do. Um Okay, yeah, well fine. fine. Uh if I'm seeing that it's burning, I'm gonna use press the digitation and try to set it on fire. I assume it's wearing some kind of clothes at this point. No. Shit. It ripped out of all of its clothes and armor. Um then I got shit, so I, am I standing right next to it? Yes. Okay, Everybody is standing right next to slash. it. Okay, you actually hit both times. Okay. Uh, for a total of nine damage. Cool. Uh, bonus action? Wait, just nine? Yeah, the it's adding in the plus five because your your advantage was a crit. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the offhand counts as my bonus, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Does it? Fuck yes. it. Whatever. Yes, it does. All right. So, as, as far as I understand. All right. So now that's going to go ahead and make it uh, Glib's turn. Uh, I'm going to wait, and I would like to take my action after Big Guy goes. Oh, you're going to hold your action until he attacks. Yes. Okay. Uh, heads up from. Kind of the last DM. You can always cast at a higher level. It just won't do anything. It won't do anything extra. Yeah. You're just oh, basically that's burning that, that that spell slot instead of another one. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll just hold it for next turn then. Okay. <laughs> did Did you want to do that and just burn? Well, a higher no, level I already slot? didn't. You want to take back the nine? No, damage? It, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. No. It, like, or it doesn't it, do anything extra. It doesn't do anything extra. Like you're just gonna burn a higher level spell slot so you can use your lower level ones. That's fine. Okay. Is that what you want to do? Well, I'll just wait for next turn because I already hit it now. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, all right. So, 
it's going to go ahead and try and swing at Nox again, because it's pissing her, it's pissing her off. <laughs> oh no! My dice! <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my reaction digital, to do digital. protection. Oh, thank you. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do some damage? Okay. Well, I hate you. One was a crit. Nice. One was sick. One was a fucking seven. <laughs> Not gonna hit. Unless your AC is a fucking 14. No, it's a 17. Yeah, you're you're fine. You're fine. Dick. <laughs> All right, that's gonna go ahead and make it uh, Mortis. Actually, did you want to do anything else? Actually, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, you can just act. Yep. I'm Acting. going to stab, stab, and on that first stab, the first one hits, right? Yes. I will use distracting strike. So it's six damage. Oh, okay. So we eight total damage, <clears throat> and the next person to attack it has advantage. Okay. And I'm done. I think. That's, <laughs> that's good. Okay, so that's gonna make it Mortis's turn, actually. Whoa. And uh, Glib, so you know, you can use protection whenever, as long as they're within five feet of you. It doesn't have to take your turn. I thought it took my reaction. It takes your reaction. It doesn't have yeah. to be on your turn, though. You can react okay. whenever. Okay. Okay, so that okay. is gonna go ahead and be Mortis then. Okay, I got, I got my flaming. Quarter staff, and I'm gonna charge into battle. Okay. Kill it. So, yeah, you hit both I, times. Nice. Uh, dealing. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm gonna fly. <laughs> 24. 19. Fuck. No, because the second one's also fire. Oh, yeah. So 38 damage. Yes. And it reduces the target's AC on a successful hit. Is By one. I, am I reading that right? Yes. That, yeah. That's the power of his staff. It only reduces it ever by one. It doesn't stack. Oh, okay. So That'd just be one broke total. as fuck. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, I'm just going to attack you a bunch. <laughs> Your AC uh, is zero now. Uh, just die. Okay, yes. so so uh, that's going to go ahead and make it Nox's turn. I just threw in one more punch there. I don't know if that actually hit. Oh, yeah, it hits. You do an okay. extra seven. Cool. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my spell, my potions. Potions, hello. No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, how many spells do I get? Uh, should say on the upper right hand of your spell tab. Should say blank out of blank. Also, how long, does the, how long does the fire last on my? Uh, it, it'll last another round. Okay. Okay, I don't see it. Um, let's do bury. Okay, bury it up. Bite is gonna miss. Okay, and oh no! I didn't mean oh to Jesus! Attack. So many things. Uh, okay, so with your first attack, you hit it, dealing a good twenty-one damage. And then, see, so it's gonna come. No. All right, cool. Uh, twenty-one damage. Your second attack is gonna miss, though. So, that actually, fuck, you guys are breaking, taking this person down. All right, uh, so now that is going to go ahead and make it uh, Roman's turn. Okay, and I am going to go ahead and use a third level spell slot to cast a second level spell, Phantasmal Force. Okay. Ooh. So, Sick. she's on fire, and so I'm going to basically wait, 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 make wait, wait, her hold hallucinate. On, hold on, hold on. You craft an illusion that takes root in the mind of a creature that you can see within range. The target must make an intelligence intelligence saving throw. Oh no! <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, nothing happens. Why? It's undead. Ooh. <laughs> Spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Oh shit. So you're you you have to burn that spell slot. You go have at the fiend. Issue out your command word, and a breeze just passes it. That would have been. And it what I was laughs to at do. you. <laughs> it laughs. <laughs>, 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 <laughs> 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 
that's her laugh. That's her. That's she's Jesus. huge sized. That's and a that good dead laugh. Okay, I'm gonna use my reaction to cutting words her and be like, "That's how you laugh." Okay. What is, what is cutting, uh, words, cutting words is reverse inspiration, okay. so she gets right. uh, minus four to her next roll. No. That's, yes. Yeah. yeah that's that's minus four to her next attack roll. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Glib. All right. Double stab. Miss. Yes. Hit. Hit. For 10 damage. I'll turn that second one into a distracting strike. Nice. For an extra six damage. Holy yep. shit. She is not looking Mexico. good at this point. She has got flesh hanging off of her. All this other shit. Uh, but it's her turn now. And she is going to go ahead and do another sweeping attack. This time trying to include... Excuse me. Uh, Nox and Roman. Does she get negatives to both, or just the first roll? Um. How does inspiration work? Do they get it for all rolls, or just one? Well, for inspiration, they can choose when to use it. Uh, when a but for cutting words, when a creature that you can see within sixty feet of you makes an attack roll, an ability check, or damage roll. Uh. So really, it's your choice. I, I, I guess. didn't use it at the right time. Um, I should be using it now. Okay. We'll, so we'll, we'll it's say it's the same next thing now. So yeah, whenever want, she makes the roll. Do you want the attack roll? The damage roll? Pick one. The attack roll. Okay. So the first one against you. Which are you seeing? Uh, 15. Yeah, it hits. What'd she roll? Okay, I'm going to use protection uh, on 16? the second attack. Sorry? I'm going to use protection on the second attack. Okay, that's fair. So uh, you were going to be taking... 13 damage, Roman. Okay. And then this is against Nox. Uh, what did I see? 17, you said? Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna hit you. And you take 9, 14 damage. Is that halved? Or would that be halved? I have uh, Uncanny Dodge, Evasion. What does Uncanny Dodge do again? Oh, okay. So you, you, you use your reaction. Okay, that's why. I'm like, you don't just get to take half damage all the time. But apparently you do. So yeah, so you take uh, seven damage. Okay. And that's... Oh shit, you guys attacked with fire. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Bordos, your turn. Yeah. I believe your, your you staff goes out now, right? What's that? Your staff goes out now. After this attack, or it's out? I, th I think it's out now. Oh, okay. Rats. Uh, Silence just killed this round. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna attack normally twice. And yeah, uh, if I use, uh, so if I use, okay, if I uh do a, a the fury of the Tarrasque, whatever it's called, and I use a luck point. Does that count for all of the rolls, or is It'll it like one, for one of them? One of them, okay. And you do hit with both those attacks, doing 18 damage. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to use Fury of the Trask, as well as two luck points. So all your, the rest of your luck, your luck's run out! And so, yeah, it's out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Hit. Yeah. Okay, so one's wow. a hit, one's a miss, one's a miss, one's a hit. So you get to re-roll the two misses, right? Yeah, I believe okay, I do. So make two more Come attack on. rolls. Miss. Come on! Hit. So you hit with three. Uh, so that is eight. Sixteen. Uh, Twenty-six damage. Nice. All right. It is on its last legs. It is at a tenth of its, of its original power. Uh, and that is going to make it Nox's turn. Finish him. You could bite. The bite does hit. As as he reaches in, he goes he goes right for the Grundle. The Grundle. Right for that orcish Grundle. Uh, dealing how much is that? It's twelve. Uh, fuck. What do you do, Nox? Uh, you already did it. No, I mean, like, what does your character do thematically? Because you just uh, fucking killed this thing. Uh, go for the throat. Okay, so... Not the Grendel. 
As, as, as Barry jumps in, bites the grundle, you climb this thing's back with your knives, with, with your fucking sweet ass short swords. What do you say as you, as you slice this thing's throat? I don't say anything, I just do it. You just go, oh. And you ride this thing to the ground. I need you to make an acrobatics check with advantage. Cool. I wonder if she's gonna roll well. <laughs> um, that, that, okay. Dip. Yeah, as it falls to the ground, you're basically riding this thing's like neck. As it drops, you jump off at the last second, and you do this sweet like gliding crouched maneuver. <laughs> Legolas. As you like so swing your blade, your, yeah. your, your sweet blades are on, and just sit in the sheet them. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, Nox. And you guys have felled this mighty beast. As yes. Once it falls, though, and after you see her do this sweet maneuver, the rest of it just sort of sinks to the earth. And it just becomes this giant pool and it fills almost the entire room in, a, in about an, an inch of, of ichor. And underneath it all, you can see some items. Oh. What do we got? What do we find? Do you guys want to wade through this pool of blood? Um, yeah. Okay. That's covering the whole floor. Yes. Okay, so as you sort of stomp through this, this blood pool, you find a bag. It appears to be a bag of holding. Uh, <laughs> if you guys reach inside the bag of holding, you can pull out the following. Uh, some sigils. Some little little rune stones with some runes carved into it. Mm -hmm. uh, you find a medallion. A long sword, uh, a scroll, two daggers that are affixed to each other. It seems to be that, that they're on the same belt. And okay. you also find, after some more digging, a locked chest. Can you run that list down real quick? Again, I'm sorry. You some don't sigils, it. a medallion, a mm -hmm. long sword, a scroll, two daggers, and a chest. Once, All right. after a couple of seconds, after you pick up the bag and start rummaging through it, you hear a large click, and the door swings back open. Um, I'd like to read the scroll. Okay. See what's going on with that. So, uh, I want you to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, <laughs> like that. Nope. You open the scroll, and you you go a little insane for reading it. You just go, ah, 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 and you drop it immediately. And it, uh, it furls back up. Uh, you take 1d10 psychic damage. You take 2 psychic damage. Okay. What the hell? It, yeah. it feels like someone was protruding your brain, and you see the image of Silvare just laughing at you. And it's so, so harsh. In, in, in your mind that you you feel literal pain and you see him have a little bit of a nosebleed. I have a bit of a nosebleed. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> that was unpleasant. You essentially had an aneurysm. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the I would scroll, like to suggest... the scroll did fall in a pool of blood though. Um I wanna collect the scroll, but Okay. Lock it, like, it's it's yeah. now a little blood stained, but you can tell that the magic energies are no longer there. It was definitely just trapped. Uh, oh. <laughs> you open it up, and it appears to be a missive. A, okay. a mission statement to uh, some people. It will take you some time to actually decipher it, because it is, it, is in a, it is in a certain script that you don't understand. But you now have uh, something that, on the bottom, you see signed by Silvare, and it has the seal of Vecna at the bottom of her signature. Ah, uh, okay. nice. um, I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna put it, you know, in my little okay, in my butt crack. <laughs> all right. I'm going to suggest that we uh, put all these things back in the bag, and probably get to drier ground for a moment. Yeah. 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 So you you guys leave the room after collecting all the things. Uh, the door yeah. is opened. Yes. Right? Door is open. Uh, as you leave, you guys are covered in blood right now. Uh, and you hear no movement in this uh, in this cove anymore. Hmm. Almost Where like nobody was ever here in the first place. 
we killed everybody. Do we do we notice even, like even their bodies are gone? Like, do we no, do we notice that the the cave looks uh like no one has been in it at all? Like does it look yes. like like ancient almost? It seems like no one's been there for almost a mm, couple of months. People, oh, okay. these are so still go in here to do mining, but the the presence of the cult that was here is gone. So we're seeing no footprints, not even our own footprints. You see your own footprints, but that's it. So no signs of the fight we had in the middle of the tunnel or anything. Nope. I'm no immediately going stains. to go run back to that room. Uh, it's an empty cove. Completely empty. On it, you in the middle of the, of the room, you see an altar. Okay, the door's there. The door's still there. Altar not crushed. Altar's not crushed. Just a collective insanity, or what? Well, we got things. You do have material goods right now. I think we should maybe go back and just kind of, uh, you know, report our findings and maybe we'll get some information. And some dollars. And some dollars. And some dollars. As you guys leave, (laughs) you notice that it is now the middle of the night. And from what you remember, it is never safe to travel through the woods of, of Theron during night. Particularly because you hear the sounds of owl bears in the forests. Oh, they can probably smell the blood on us. Yeah, they can definitely smell the blood on you. So if we're that's right your next, best guess. We're right next to the ocean now. We're out of the cave on you, a beach. It, the, the ocean is going to be a like a couple hours trek. Oh, you said cove, so when I like, assumed ocean. It was it like leads, a, it leads no. into the ocean. Okay. Like, it, it's that it's like that opening in a mountainside that goes underground and leads into an ocean side. Oh, uh, okay. Historically, if you had gone right, you would have found the actual entryway to the ocean. Oh, so where we went left before, if we'd gone right, we'd have... You would have found the dead end okay. of the ocean. Um, I See, mean... I thought we entered from a beach. Should we rest, because we're all be... Yeah. yeah, we should probably rest in this pristine cave cove. That's <laughs> okay. inside of the mouth of the cave. Because a rest will give us all our hit points back, right? Uh, yes. A long rest will, so essentially you guys will be going to sleep. Okay. Yeah. So, before we, or as we begin to take our long rest, I would like to uh, use, sorry, just because I'm kind of, I'm kind of shaken up by this whole thing, mm-hmm. I'm going to use Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. Um, it's, it's a, a new spell, spell, guys! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So, um, um, so, everybody gets hit points. But why would you use that? We're if gonna we're gonna get them anyway. Yeah, if we're getting a long anyway. rest, if we're taking a long rest right now, I get all of my spell slots back in yeah. the morning. But like, so I might. You're all well... gonna get your hit points back anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid we're going to be. Oh, you're, you're afraid there's gonna be stuff in the middle. So I want to make sure we're prepared. He's, he's preparing ahead of time. He's, he's like, so just in case, that. guys. <laughs> let me just heal you up, dogs. Yes. Let let's let me do this. Okay. All right. I mean, it's fair. Yeah, it's it's fair. not a waste of a spell. Yeah, I mean, you it's get it just... back anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, watch. Who wants to take? Who wants to take first? Are you guys heading up a camp at I'll all? Take or... first one. You guys gonna make a fire? Um. Yeah. I'll make a like a little shitty fire. Okay. Uh, using your <laughs> your, your, your infernal prowess, you you create a small fire out of out of some tinder you found. Yeah. Uh, do you guys set up for the night? Yeah. Um. Okay, in the process of setting up for the night, I have one more thing I'd like to do. Yeah, sure. You, you guys can, can feel free to inspect what you got during this time. What would you like to do, Roman? I would like to cast Leoman's Tiny Hut. So I'm just going to sit and meditate for a minute. Okay. And create a 10-foot radius immobile dome of force. That is essentially impenetrable from the outside. Because I'm nice. really fucking scared about what just happened. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. I wish I had that. Yeah. Uh, so he basically puts his hands together and starts rubbing them. Then just shoots them out. And this dome of, like, it seems like glass and just so- surrounds you. Because the fire was started, the smoke can leave the dome. Because yeah. we were inside it, we can leave and come back freely. But nothing that was outside it when I cast it can get yeah. it. So you're not going to suffocate from smoke. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it, it's magic. Don't worry about it. But right. you guys don't have to worry about things breaking in at least. At least not like animals. 
if, like, a necromancer came up, yeah, I could probably dispel it if you wanted to, but that's probably not the case. <laughs> well, good. Uh, so... I still your, recommend watch, but... During your watch, Roman, nothing happens. Who wants to take second watch? I'll take okay. second watch. And, okay. Lib, what do you do on your watch? Uh, I guess I could inspect the weapons that we got. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and make either a blacksmithing check or, or an arcana check. And let me know uh, what weapon you're looking uh, at. Each one will take about two hours. So one half of, of your watch. I'll check out the longsword first. Okay, that's going to be just fine. As you, <laughs> as you unsheath this longsword, it, it's not so much a blade as it is an apparition. As you unsheath it entirely, you notice that when you grab its hilt, you you feel it resonate. And it what was the size of a human longsword now shrinks to the size of a longsword for a gnome. This is not a, 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 a property of magic items that is foreign to you. Most magic items are intelligent enough that they'll resize themselves. Mm -hmm. as, as you sort of move the blade through your hands, you faintly swing the weapon as you would any weapon to test its balance. You notice that it's almost a tune that if you were to actually sit and spend time with this you could definitely tell that this has very high magical properties uh, after two hours of, of investigating and identifying this weapon you know that it calls itself Wailing Blade it is a plus two magic longsword that when you strike an undead with it will deal bonus damage cool. it'll take eight hours to get the full effect uh, if you don't attune yourself to it for an eight, for a full eight hours, it's just plus two magic locks. Cool. Cool. Uh, can I inspect the daggers then? Uh, yes. So make another arcana check or blacksmithing check. Cool. So with that, with that, you're really good at that. I hate you. Uh, with <laughs> that, you know that that these are actually the knives of a, of a great uh, rogue. His name was Sir Humboldt Fogg. And he was a fantastic bladesman. He was able to dance around people very quickly with, with these two blades. They are also plus twos. And you notice that if they were used to sneak attack somebody, that they would do bonus damage on, on the sneak attack only. Uh, as you investigate, you, you decide to leave one at the... Uh, at, at sort of the ground and you pull it about five feet away and where where the pommel is a small mouth opens up I want everyone to make perception checks everybody everybody because yeah. I'm sleeping oh I know I know <laughs> I see everything <laughs> cool cool as he as he uh, puts one blade farther from the other you hear <laughs> Continuously, until he brings the blades back together. <laughs> you know them as cursed weapons, that when they are more than five feet apart from each other, they will scream in agony, because they are meant to be together. <laughs> That's funny. Alright guys, go back to sleep. <laughs> you all wake up, hearing a blood-curling scream. What the scream hell is that? As, as, as Glyph is holding these two knives going, What? <laughs> Why are you playing with knives? I was just checking them out. They're really cool. You should stab people with them. <laughs> At this point, oh. it's someone else's watch. I guess I'll... not. Go ahead. You're going to take watch, Mordos? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you, you take the final watch and everyone goes back to sleep pretty easily. Uh, uh, I would love to check that medallion out. The medallion itself out, the medallion itself is uh, pretty, pretty standard make. doesn't have to be anything crazy. Uh, it does, however, have a giant eye on the front. Not like an eyeball, but it looks like a squinting eye. Um, do you wish to identify it? I'd love to. Go ahead and make an arcana check or a blacksmithing check. Uh, blacksmithing I'll... is straight intelligence. I guess they're both intelligence for yeah. me. Okay. You can't really tell anything about this. Uh, you know that it's a very fine made or uh, medallion. You can probably make a good, a good amount of coin off it. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, do I have time to look at the sigils as well? 
Um, yeah, each one takes about it takes about two hours. So uh, you want to go ahead and make an arcana check? I mean, no. Nope. <laughs> They're rocks. <laughs> Going to bed. They are rocks. Uh, the sun actually comes up. The sun comes up just fine, and uh, your your dome dissipates, Roman, and it is now daybreak. Okay. You all are all fully rested and get your spell slots back and your various traits. Awesome. Before uh, we get moving, mm -hmm. um, since it's just now morning time and everything, it's I would like to open up that chest that we found. Okay, make a thieves tool check. What? It's locked? It is a yeah, locked chest. Locked. I okay, I don't You try to open it and it, it just doesn't move. Right, so I'll just hold it out to not and be like, please? <laughs> he said please. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna open things for you? Please? No, it's calling to you, Nox. I'll split it whatever is in it with you. If I open it, why would I split anything <laughs> with you? <laughs> Nox, don't be difficult. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Or it's whispering in your ear. Yeah, it's yes. whispering. Like, right and, like everyone can hear it, but I think I'm being <laughs> sneaky. I just want to see what's in it. We'll take all of this back and divide it up amongst ourselves later. If I get hurt, this is on you. I just press yeah, this. Okay. It's a very you just unlock chest. it. I'll take care of. Feel free to check for traps if you like. Um, also, can I? I'll have my hand on her uh, shoulder, and I'm just like, she, no one's really gonna know, but I'm just gonna use guidance. Uh, and we'll as, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, gonna, you know what? Just in case. I'm sorry. What's that do? Um, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. To your role. I'm just gonna oh, say. You got this, Nox. You're not gonna get hurt. Right. I don't know why I do these things for you guys. <laughs> it's trapped. No. Uh, it opens up pretty easily. It was a pretty shitty lock. Uh, and inside, your eyes widen, Nox, as you see six thousand gold pieces. And one diamond, Ooh. which estimated in, in, your, as much as in your eyes for about a thousand gold. You, you actually know that as 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 part mage, you know that a diamond of this worth is a is a very powerful magical reagent used wow. in resurrecting the dead. You 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 think that to the right person, you can make a quite a bit of coin off that. To a regular merchant, about a thousand gold. Uh, does everybody see it? I guess so. everybody sees it. Yeah, I'm like right <laughs> over your shoulder. Taking so. that stupid watch. Thanks, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. All right. What do you guys okay. do? You guys have now uh, observed all the loot. I'm not going to say figured out what it all is, but you've you've observed it all. Um, do we want to just like head our you know head back to the to Theron? Are we all? Sure, and maybe check out the scroll that I don't understand, but maybe someone else. No one wants to wait. The scroll. Loot. Oh wait, the scroll was not the same as the. The scroll. I opened it. It was trapped, and then I, I picked it up again, and it, oh. I don't understand what it says. But it's it's signed by Silvari. So. Yeah. Oh, let me have a look at it. Okay. okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. What languages do you know? Um, people just leaving me alone. Comprehend languages. Loot. I know all of them. <laughs> Does that let you read? It lets oh, me read or understand any spoken language. It's not spoken; uh, it's written. Literal meaning, but I know this into my bag. The sake of brevity, <laughs> I know I common any written language that you see, but you may must be okay. Yeah, so so you actually understand it. Um, okay, you know well that, before that I a... that spell, before that? I burn the spell, I speak common Elvish and Infernal, okay. which yeah, I you don't know what it is. Okay, then I'll use comprehend languages. Okay, I have snuck the thing into my bag of holding. Okay. People still know you but, have wait, it. Okay. We're gonna know where, like, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Probably you have it. Uh, so <laughs> you you run. Away, just put this in here. <laughs> you you run your fingers over this this piece of parchment, and your eyes sort of light up uh, as you're reading. You're not even looking at the page. You're just it's kind of like uh, braille to you right now. Okay. Uh, and you you recite these words as you're reading aloud. Uh, okay. I'm not. I'm gonna paraphrase because I didn't write anything because I'm a fucking lazy asshole. <laughs> and you uh, didn't expect me to be able to read it. I didn't actually. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would do that next session so I could actually write it out. Uh, it's it's essentially an assassination contract on one of the magisters. Ooh! Can I understand the name? 
Co. Do I recognize that name? You do. There's you only know of one person with the name Cull, and that is Brennan. Oh, that's his first name. That's his last name. That's his last. So Brennan is his first name. Yes. Oh, you're, you're on a first name. That was his last name. No, I've been here for a year, and I thought that was yeah. his first name or his last name. He just assumed you were calling by his first name, being really for, being really informal, which he liked. <laughs> well, that's how he introduced himself. Yeah. Okay. He introduced him as Sir Brennan Cull. I have to edit my notes now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you, you find out that it is an assassination contract against the Magister Cull. Which he's not actually a Magister. No, he's not. But they think he is. Interesting. So I'll relate all of this. You, as... you, you say aloud in common. Okay, well, I'll explain because I've only referred to my my new friends, uh, or referred to Brennan, to my friends as Brennan. So I'll explain. For for clarity's sake, he introduced himself as Brennan Cull. You all know that Cull refers, in your mind, refers to Brennan. Okay. There may be other Culls out in the world, but he's the only one you know. Okay. You should probably go warn him. Yeah. Yes, and very quickly. Okay. Um, It's going to be about another two hours trek back to town. Okay. You guys want to do anything along the way? Um, maybe, like, did I kind of get an inclination that maybe the medallion and the sigils had some magical force about them that I didn't understand? Or am I just like, oh. I you know, thought they were mundane as shit. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Uh, Wait, is this uh, your yeah, medallion? What's up? What? We should check those out because they might be, like, we're bringing the assassination. Yeah, I just, like, I can't them. be, like... Hey, you guys should check these out because I just thought they were just like shiny things. So you guys have Would to. Would you have them like in your hand or in your possession? They're probably back in the bag of holding with yeah, everything else. I think I think Roman had that bag of holding on him. Well, I have a bag of holding. There was another one. Yes, I know the stuff came in one. Um, I assume you guys took it with you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Glad do you smart. want a bag of holding? Yeah. Does anyone sure. not have a bag to keep stuff in? Yeah, I don't I have one. Yeah. Glib, Glib takes it. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> hey, Noam, you want to carry this big bag full of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> it's not big. It's about this big. Yeah, it's tiny. Oh, that's right. It's, it's gnome bag. size. It's gnome size. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, just, you can't put it in who wants to another bag of holding the, or they the blow medallion up. So. Or the dagger. Oh, I'm sorry, not the dagger, but the, uh, the, the sigils. Come again? Who wants to inspect what? If you uh, I'll take a look at the sigils. Okay. Make an arcana check. Blam. Okay, so you actually know exactly what these are. They are uh, runic sigils, and there are two of them. One of which has the word flame, and one of which has the word mind on it. You know that with the skill of a master craftsman, he can imbue a weapon to deal bonus damage based on it. However, with a powerful spellcaster, you can augment these sigils to basically, if they channel a particular spell into it while it's being crafted for 24 hours, it'll change the property of what is being applied. So the last spells that were applied were Fireball and Mind Blast. So that but you can change. you You can change them with a high enough spell. Hmm. They're very rare. Interesting. You, you've only heard of them, but here you have two in your hands now. Uh, you know that they are also unable to be applied to anything that is already magical. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Roger that. So are they runes that you can put like on a weapon? Or... Yeah, exactly. All right. Does it have to be a weapon? Weapon or armor or a shield. But does it that... cannot be magical already. Does that weapon have to be new like as they're making the weapon or can no. it just be applied to an existing weapon? It can be applied to an existing weapon. It just has to be done normally by a master craftsman. Because the process is so arduous. Well, good thing we happen to know on. one. Yeah. <laughs> we know we have one in our party, Glib. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good, I guess. Uh, do you guys also want to inspect the medallion? Uh, okay. Yes, I'll, I'll take a look at that one. Okay. Arcana check, Plux. I got that. Yeah, I know you did. Uh, Fucking meme lord. Okay. Uh, you don't that know jack shit. Okay. Well, like, since... no, this is definitely a mundane amulet. 
Well, since since my arcana check didn't really um, do much, like I can't just tell anything by looking at it. I'll actually cast identify. Okay. In the back of your head, like, no, there's got to be something else. You identify. Exactly. You know, a, a rush of images goes through your head. You you see many different people using this very medallion to uh, sort of go around shape shifting to to see one's true self. And this is the medallion of true sight. Uh, it must be attuned. So you have to sit with it for eight hours and you have to attune it to yourself. And two times per day, you can see a creature's true form through uh, disguise self, through alter self, through polymorph, shapeshift, and you can see what it really is. Cool. Two times a day. Okay, I'll explain that to my party. Yeah. You can um, to them. Did we. Let's see. Did we find out what the longsword did? Glib, did you look yeah. at that? While yep. we were yeah, he did. It is a uh, plus two longsword that, when attuned, does uh, bonus damage to undead. Okay, and the daggers are cursed and can't be more than five feet from each other without screaming. That's that's the only yeah. curse on them. Beyond that, they okay. they are plus two daggers yeah. that do bonus sneak attack damage. Yeah, just mega when daggers. When attuned by a rogue, in particular, you don't just get sneak attack as as a trait if you have these. You have I to feel know like his entire bag is a care package for Nox. It's it's actually not. <laughs> so you guys uh, keep going to town. Yeah. yeah. You you guys walk past a couple of merchants along the way. They're sort of speedily on their way out of town, uh, which isn't too weird. It's it's morning. They need to get back to to their various cities to go collect goods or go sell goods from there. As you get to the uh, to the city gates, though, you notice that the gates are flooded with people. All looking at the gallows. As you enter, you hear a rumbling, rumbling of people calling out for death. Is uh, Are the gallows occupied? You'd have to get closer to tell, but it's a safe assumption. Yeah, let's get closer okay, and see what's Yeah, going I definitely on. want to get closer. As, you're, as mm -hmm. you squeeze past these people, because you're all fairly bulky, you all know how to wake, work your way through a crowd fairly easily. You notice that there is a there's an older el, an older orcish man uh, in the gallows currently, and people are screaming obscenities at him. You fucking green skin! You fucking orca! How could you do this? They're throwing tomatoes at him. Some dude throws a watermelon. Wow. Uh, he is taking it all in stride, though. He looks to be calm as these these various fruit and produce are being chucked directly at his face. Hmm. Do we... Oh. We can't really approach him because he's up on the gallows and he's just getting shit thrown at him, right? You can get closer, however. You're, you're about maybe 30 feet away from the gallows so, so you can see what's happening, but you're not exactly right up next to him. Um, I'd like to approach maybe like the executioner. There isn't one yet. So it's just the guy standing on there with his, the noose around his neck? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, maybe just as someone you, throwing. As you walk up to him, though, as you get closer, the crowd goes silent. And you hear the clanging of armor coming down the main street. And you see Ooh. six people clad in silvered armor, each with a helmet representing a different animal adorned on their head. And I'm pulling up a list right now because I needed to, I forgot to do it earlier. <laughs> uh, can I do You see is it uh, Sorry, I'm, go ahead. I'm gonna explain what they look like. Okay. You see a smaller uh, framed person, humanoid, who is wearing uh, the helm of a bird, one who has the helm of a, of a wolf, one an elk, a rather large humanoid wearing the helm of a tortoise, and he has a shelled back, one who is, uh, seems to be in leathered armor instead of silver, wearing the, hat, wearing the head of a jaguar, and then one leading the pack who's wielding a great halberd, and he has the head of a griffin. Do I recognize any of these people? You do not, but the crowd is utterly silent. Can I, I use an... Sorry, go ahead. No, please, go ahead. Can I use an insight check to see I, if I think these might be the six uh, warriors of the council? 
you do not need to make that insight check. <laughs> that just as yeah. murmuring about going. Is is that the judges? You all know that the judges have not been seen in over forty years, and yet here they are standing before you now. They all walk up to the gallows, and the tortoise walks up and grabs the rope of the noose, and you hear him speak. Do you, Grawl Unkularish, have any last words before we take your life? And the orc says, My lords, I, I did nothing. I, I did not slay that family. I assure you, please, allow my, my family and their name, allow them justice. Do, do not do this. His grip tightens along the rope. Grawl Unkularish, do you say you plead not guilty? The orc merely nods his head. Among the crowd, you hear some rumblings of, Won't somebody stop them? This, this is madness. I know that man. I'm going to jump up on stage. Okay, so you, you push past some people. I want you to make an acrobatics check if you're actually going to jump up there. I'm going to try and get up there and stop the judge. Okay, so you're going to be able to climb up there pretty quickly. And do you do you touch him? How do you try and stop him? I'm just going to stand up there and yell, wait. He slowly turns his head to you. Yes, half-elf known as Roman. So you do know who I am. Good. At what is this point, man accused of? Somebody, you, you feel something in your back. It's pointy, and you know this feeling all too well. It's a blade sticking in about the lower half of your spine, and you hear a woman's voice. My, my, you're very hasty, aren't you, Roman? We know who you are. You'll kindly get off the stage, and we'll hear what you have to say. Is this one of the other judges? Because I meant you, to get up but where there's nobody behind me. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You, you look around to the other judges, and the sparrow is missing. You turn around, and she is actually balancing on the edge of the, of, of the gallow flooring with one hand on your back, which you didn't feel, and the other hand with, with her dagger in your back. Is it all right? Can you step down now? <laughs> Will you wait before executing this man? Of course. We'll hear what you got to say. We're not monsters. I'll step down. Okay. <laughs> as, as you say that, she removes her blade and jumps over you and lands and lends her hand to help you down. I will ignore her hand. Oh, all right. That's a little bit rude, but okay. I... <laughs> Toy, let's listen to what they say. The tortoise slowly removes his hand from the rope and you can see relief come across the orcish man's face. What would you like to say? Of what is this man accused? Known as Roman. Of what is this man accused? Four counts murder in the first degree. And the crowd starts an uproar. And the, the man with the griffin helm merely looks at them and they quiet. Where and when did this murder take place? Last evening in the gutter. Um, quick question. Are we in the gutter now? You are near the gutter. You're, you're more closer to the south gate. Okay. So the people surrounding us, they are, they are residents gutter folk. of... They are, they are people from the Imperial District, the Merchants District. This is a so huge So the whole city's here. Oh, essentially. Okay. Anyone who could afford to be here is here. Okay. So, can I, quick glance around... Or maybe I may have already noticed this. Like, is there a fair evenly even balance? Or is there like a ton of gutter folk? Because that's generally how class societies work, where there's a lot of lower classes. No, it's it's a pretty decent mix. Like e even some people from even some guards ran down here to see what was happening. Okay. Um, so now you decide to take an interest in the gutter folk? You're 
tongue is harsh. Do you have lineage here? I do not. What is your purpose? To save this man's life. To see justice done. As is ours. Has he stood trial? This is the trial. The man stands here with a noose around his neck and you call it a trial? The, at that point, when you start getting a little more aggravated, you, you notice uh, the wolf walk up. And he actually takes his helmet off. And you can see that he is a scarred human. He has claw marks along his face. Listen, pup. You're new to the city. This is our trial. We don't take kindly to this kind of slaughter. Now you'll lower your tone. We greatly appreciate it. If you, I don't know, help us with our customs, we won't throw you in, in the, in the uh, you know, prisons. Does that sound fair? I'm gonna like cough in the crowd be like, <coughs> Kangaroo Court! Oh, Mordos. They didn't, they didn't know. No, he, he, <laughs> he heard you. They didn't um, know. <laughs> Roman, you noticed that, that when he heard the cough, you saw the wolf's ear twitch. <laughs> did, okay, did my, I was attempting to rile dead up. silent the, right now. But of course he heard you The gutter talk. folk had like no reaction when I actually pointed out to the judges that they don't actually care about no, the they, gutter folk. They, they, looked, they looked concerned for your safety. You could tell that them being here is a big deal. Well, I know the judges being here is a big deal. My point was that I, I wanting to get a reaction out of the gutter folk because they know that the judges don't give a shit. They are scared. Now then, are you willing to lower you, your tone? I can't see an innocent man hanged. We have no proof he's innocent. Do you have any proof that he's guilty? Other than his race? Jaguar! Come here. You, you, see, a, a, you see the Jaguar come up with a, a box. He opens the box and he pours it out. And there you see letters. Notes written by a bunch of people. These are missives sent to us saying that the orc man has killed a, a family of four. Elves in the gutter as of last night. Elves? Elves. Were these elves residents of the gutter, or were they new in town? They were residents. Twelve years running. You still think this man innocent? Um, Why do you concern yourself over a simple murder? Forty years and you haven't come out of your tower. Surely there have been murders in the Imperial District in that time. Uh, when, you, when you mention they haven't been out this long... You hear a familiar voice from the crowd. Yeah, tell him! <laughs> that fucking dick! A f wait, a familiar voice? <laughs> a familiar voice. <laughs> okay. And he scrambles up. He goes, he pats I finally feel much better. <laughs> you, he pats Wolf and goes, Oh, go ahead, little puppy! Get out of here! You scram. <laughs> and you can see a look of disgust on the wolf's face. <laughs> oh, man! You're a dick! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why don't you bring your friends up here? Actually, you all should. And he, he looks out to the crowd and he waves his hand. He says, disperse. And they all turn and they start walking away. The entire crowd. I will look at my friends and say, I would like you to meet Jensen. Hello. Hi, Jensen. Boys, I'll, I'll take care of this. You go back to your little tower and play lollipops. <laughs> Uh, you see Sparrow laughing at this, echoing through her helm, and she helps guide the rest. Okay. Um, Roman. Uh, let's go to the tab real quick. We gotta talk. Um, what about the half orc guy? Oh, he's gonna be there for a while. Do you think uh, he killed you, him? You can see that his his feet are chained. Do you? Okay. As we're walking, I'll ask him if he thinks he's guilty. Fuck no. So, as you guys are walking through the gutter, uh, you pass a, a house that seems pretty downtrodden. He goes, this is his house. Uh, he's a cooper. 
He builds barrels. That's his job. I think I, it's I all know sour. what a cooper is. He's telling the rest of you. He doesn't know <laughs> your education. <laughs> He's never met you before in his life. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm being very rude. Jensen, these are Mortos, Knox, and Glib. Oh, um, I know who yeah. they are. I don't give a shit. <laughs> how do how do you two know each other? Oh, oh, oh! Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Uh, yeah, I would like to go to the rat since we're in the gutter. Yeah, he he leads you there. Okay. Before you know it, you guys are in a, in a bar, sitting down, already drinking, <laughs> and you're surprised at the fact you don't remember sitting down yourself. Okay, so let me start from the top. I'm Jansen. I'm a magister here in Theron. Nice to meet you, Jensen. Jansen. Jan. All right, my apologies. Yeah, come on. I'm Mordos. I'm a I'm a monk. Oh, I know what you are. Yeah. And something else. Oh, I know. I know what you really are. I just like look at him like, and then just like <laughs> take a nervous drink of my, whatever. Madam Knox, my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Glenn. Hey, you got a smile out of her. That's just, rare. Hey, I'm. <laughs> tell you what, I'm going with the ladies. Hey. <laughs> Uh, you can definitely tell that he has no wedding ring on. No one would. No one would marry this. And he's over two hundred years old. Yeah, he's he's old as shit. Can I just give him a wink? <laughs> I'll see you later. He's probably the only person you've met in a long time who's older than you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he is human, by the way. He is a human <laughs> man, and he looks old as shit. Uh, Clip, I hear you're a good blacksmith. Uh, I do okay. Sweet. <laughs> on. I'm not good with these martial dudes. Sweet. All right, all right. Please, rounds on me. Jensen. Adrian, um, come here. Jensen. Rounds for the place. We, we have a slight emergency. Oh, I know. I like to drink first. He pulls up his tankard, and he just he just chugs this thing. <laughs> mm, mm. I'm going to try and, like, match his pace. Is this I a dragon fire ale? No, it's just pace. like an ale. You guys can okay. definitely match his pace. He's not showing not. off, he's just really thirsty. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just sipping mine. Uh, Growl. Growl is his name. Uh, you know about uh, the gutter already. You know it's not a great place. So, the judges want to come out and play nice. We had a meeting a couple of, a couple of days ago. They want to personally hand every, handle every execution. Is that right? They used to do it. What made them stop? I don't know. They never said. What made them decide to start again? They want you more... better than actually doing something around here? For lack of a better word, yes. They want to start getting more involved with their people. They don't like how we've been showing face, okay. so they want more. So they want to start by killing them. Okay. They want to show that they can be a force to be reckoned with. Which is Maybe. fair. They've been out of, the, out of the working for 40 years. It's all right. We understood <laughs> it. We all agreed. All 12 of us. It was um, unanimous. They need a bigger okay. presence. I kind of want to whisper to Roman. I'd be like, maybe we should, maybe we should show him the scroll. I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> so, so, let him go on you, for a minute. What you don't understand is that Tortoise gave you an in. Uh, he wants you to take care of it. Wolf... Don't worry about Wolf. He's hardened, but he's a good guy. Uh, so, you guys want to help me out? Like, a lot? You want us to find the real killer? Oh, boy, would you? I'm so glad you offered. If you so, can guarantee that we all will live until we can. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's off limits. The judges know the law. If a trial is, being under, is, is undergoing, you can't touch him. Period. So, uh, here's what we know so far. Grawl is a Koopa from the gutter. The Elven family. Um, Silverfoot, or something like that. They have one of those weird Elfie names. Uh, they were also from the gutter. They live a couple blocks down from here. Uh, I can't help with the investigation. For the obvious reasons. Hmm. 
I'm impartial. I, I help govern this city. Okay, we understand. I don't know, you, 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 you demon boy over here that made it seem like he didn't get it. Jensen, be nice. <laughs> what is a demon I boy? I know, I know your name's Jansen, that's it. Yeah, what else you want to know? I'm an open book. Well, I know you're a big deal now, so I'll just... Okay, what else do you want to know? I'll tell you anything you want. Uh, I got nothing right now. Really? No questions at all? <laughs> no, just Holy drinking. shit, you're boring. Jansen is the only person in authority who I fully trust. Okay. All right, so, uh, he has 24 hours before he'll be hanged. We have a day to One find day. the real killer. One day. All right. Okay, well then I'll just hand this to you, and I'll put the scroll on the table. What the shit and is let this? Him read it. He opens it it's up. an assassination order for Brennan. This isn't for Brennan. Who is it for then? It's obviously, obviously for one of the magistrate. It has Brennan's first name in it, his or his last, last name. name, whatever. <laughs> it has his name in it. It's got to be a typo <laughs> or something. There's no magister call. Hmm. Not for not for not, centuries. I, I'm sorry. What? Not for centuries. His his family died out of out of the mage line a long time ago. Well. We killed a, a, a giant undead half orc, and yeah. this is what he had on him. I so I name. feel like. I know the name Silvare. Yeah. You know okay. why we don't have a seat for necromancers? Why is that? Because necromancy is evil? <laughs> no, not inherently. <laughs> The study of necromancy is not by itself evil. It's it's, it's it's its application. Now the reason why we ban enchantment magic, except by use of a magister in the city. Because it affects the mind. Pe you remove people's free will, and they can't be themselves. Well, um, Silvari was a magister about, I don't know... 80 years or so ago. And, 80 uh, years? Yeah. She's an elf. She lives a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, we, we kicked her out, and we thought we siphoned off her power, but apparently not. If she's in league with Vecna, that means she's sort of forgotten her sorcery and taken more of a religious approach. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'll be sure to keep close tabs on it. Do me a favor and just put a couple extra guards on Brennan. Brennan for can a couple of days, himself. please. Brennan's a good kid, uh, but we'll we'll keep. I'll keep tabs on him for sure. I'll I'll be sure to he tell Sparrow. There used to be, there that... used to be a magister call. Yeah, a couple centuries Years ago, but he ago? died. Was he assassinated? No, he just straight up died of old age. Magic when... only prolongs you for so long, buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got uh, where's about a hundred me, okay, personally. So, yeah, uh, I think I like where Glib is going with this. Since the city has a tendency of old rulers coming back from the dead. Oh, um, oh, you mean that asshole? No, no, that that was a necromancy thing. He, when a magister dies of old age, his, his magic gets released into the ether to be replaced. I'm just thinking that maybe... It's not actually an assassination order. Maybe it's, it's a resurrection an age request. killer order. Maybe she's trying to bring him back. No, like he's reason. he's dead, dead. You can't bring that back. He's okay. now just magic incarnate. You use magic, you're using him. That's what happens to the magisters. We keep our I schools suddenly feel slightly dirty in line. That's what we do. I, I'm a transmutation guy. You use transmutation magic? I channel that. That's what I do. Okay. That's okay. how the magic here is so much stronger. Well, so what can we get from, like, what do we understand from this scroll then? That this is a fake? That they're planning on an assassination attempt. They probably just got the name wrong. It happens. <sighs> uh, what school of magic did Magister call practice? Divination. Scrying. Who is the divination master at Magister now? His name is Jared. Jared? 
Jaren. As a no. <laughs> Jaren Proudhart. Yeah. Well, maybe you should keep an eye out. I'll, I'll talk to him. Okay. Well, then we'll, if my friends would like to, we'll get on this investigation for the murder trial. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, anywhere you can kind of like lead us, like anywhere to start? Uh, the dude's house. Actually, go to the house of the elves. They were killed at yeah. home? Yeah, they, they were killed in the house. The crime scene. Uh, yeah, will you that's all I can say. I literally can't gallows, say anymore. Okay, will you have guards go take him off the gallows at least, please? I can't hear you. You 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 can hear his lips smack when he talks. Oh, oh he literally can't he say. Literally anything. can't say anything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. right well, so... I'll get these drinks though. Adrian, come here. And he, he pulls out a, a coin purse and he just drops a couple uh, platinum on the table. Hey, fix your fucking shop up. I can smell the leaks. <laughs> you boys and girl, sorry. Uh, you gang, you go ahead and handle that. Uh, go back to the tower when you find something. Let and... Brennan know what we found, please. Oh, yeah, of course. Can we relate all of the, like, everything that happened? Can we just kind of... I'll I'll fill them in. Airplane propeller past that. We gotta have a meeting anyway. Okay. All right. Deuces, I'm outie. He snaps his finger and he disappears in a cloud of smoke. Poof. Uh, he, the, the smoke clears and he's still sitting there. He goes... <laughs> Shit, and he just runs out. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys now have a quest. So I'll look at my friends and say, well, welcome to Theron. That's Jansen. <laughs> you I got like weird him. friends. <laughs> I like him. He's weird. Deuces, I'm out of How do you guys feel? Do you guys want to keep going, or do you guys want to take a break and call it good for the night? Uh, maybe this might be a good point to stop. Okay, great. So we'll stop there, because I want to make sure that people are well rested up in their minds for this sick nastiness. Uh, that first like, that first fight took a lot longer than I expected. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna come back next week, next Friday at six PM PDT, and we will actually uh, start our murder investigation. Investigate the murder. Uh, so yeah. Um, guys, I wanna thank you all for hanging out with us and I wanna thank my lovely cast for fucking chilling and being cool dudes. Yeah. Uh, guys, did you not know? You can actually tweet at us at hashtag weighted dice and get your name in the fucking game. Uh, today we had Tay Benny, uh, HWMSX, I think, on Twitter, uh, who was our undead Goliath. And Got then ripped. we also have Silvare, who's our fucking BBEG, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Silvare Voidry on Twitter. Fucking awesomeness. Uh, yeah, you guys have a villain now how do you guys feel about that i man we were kicking our ass and she just disappeared the hell yeah she's a wuss yeah um i want to let you guys know you weren't kicking her ass (laughs) she wasn't apparently even there uh, so no she was there you guys definitely damaged her we did do over 100 points of damage to her but she did not give a shit you flicked her nose and that's about it uh Hard flick. Yeah, man. It, it, yeah. it was a good, good, well-fought fight. You guys now do have magic items that you can disperse upon yourselves. Okay. Um, I can say that in town you do, you guys do attune it. I think that's that's only fair. So if you guys want to attune a magic item, you can. Um, so the ones you can attune to yourselves right now are going to be the medallion, the, the longsword, or the daggers. Uh, the daggers must be attuned in a pair. They take up one, take up one attunement slot. Everything else takes up one, like the sword itself. Okay. Um, so yeah. Any uh, like leveling up? You guys do not level up this time. You leveled <laughs> up last time. Uh, right. But based on what you guys do in the future, you may level up a lot quicker than you normally would. Because I want to get you guys to a pretty high level here. Because this is gonna be a high level campaign. Because <laughs> that nice. first fight took forever. Yeah, you guys yeah. need some more levels, some more damage. Uh, so expect that. To, um, is there anything you guys you want to? Is there anything you guys want to push for the coming week? Um, I got nothing to say. I think it's it's coming along really, really nicely. So uh, just this next Friday, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Uh, Ava, do you want to push anything? Uh, I know you've been streaming a lot more lately. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Follow her on Twitch for impromptu Overwatch or Hearthstone streams. 
Uh, or what did you start playing lately? You started playing uh, something new. I've been, I've been doing Child of Light. Um, oh, nice. I've been doing Faster Than Light. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're playing Faster Than Light. That's awesome. I haven't played any and of those. I do Hearthstone and Overwatch. And then, Andre, and if people want to reach you, how can they do Blizzard. that? Yeah, anything Blizzard. Andre, do you, do you have a Twitter yet? Uh, no, I don't do anything interesting. Okay. <laughs> He'll be here next Friday. You, just, you have you questions for him, pop it up in chat. Andre, you just look pretty. Yeah. yeah, yeah look pretty. I do what I can. Uh, but now if you clips that long, so we do a shit ton more damage. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so you guys, uh, we'll see you guys there. Um, I will probably be doing some shorter streams in the future. Uh, probably maybe twice a week when I'm not doing this. Work has kind of got me in sort of a sort of a rut right now because I get home at like 6.30 on a regular day. Uh, so right. I'll be working on that. And I'll be doing a lot of Vermintide and I'll be doing Dead by Daylight testing out that new patch and maybe even some Elder Scrolls Online. I don't know yet. Noish. Um, but guys, it's been real. It's been fun. Yeah. Been real fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. We'll see you next time with Theron. Goodbye. Bye.